Hey guys, welcome to Top Gear, and we have a very special guest in this episode. Josiah, welcome to Top Gear. How are you doing, man? Thanks for having me, Thomas. Now nah, I'm I'm doing good. I'm uh, oh. all, all the household is asleep, so I'm I'm just chilling right here, <laughs> doing what you know, having fun. Hopefully tonight with everyone, just hanging out, right? Talking cars. That's what yeah, we like yeah. To do. Yeah, we're talking. We just Top Gear is just. You know, what I want to do with Top Gear is to talk to car guys. All right. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you uh, guilty as charged. Guilty as charged. Hundred <laughs> percent, man. <laughs> if we if we open a WhatsApp between me and you, it's cars, 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 cars. Something else, cars, cars, yeah, cars, 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 cars. Pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> so thanks for it's coming, a, on, man. I'm really, I'm yeah, really th honored. Thanks for I having to, uh, me. No, no, I'm, I'm, well, we're welcome and thank you for coming. You know, so uh, yeah, we we have Josiah here today. For those of you who are tuning in, um, you know. I, I'm just really honored because we're not talking to just another car guy. Uh, Josiah is our, one of our Malaysian heroes as well. You know, he represented Malaysia in uh, uh, track cycling. Those of you don't, you might know or might not know. Uh, uh, three times Olympian, two times World Cup champion, and uh, is it one time uh, Commonwealth gold medalist, right? Yeah. yeah, Commonwealth Games gold medalist. Not not that anyone knows what that one is, but uh, hey, Commonwealth is a big one. Hey, we 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 had we hosted Commonwealth yeah. in Malaysia. Uh, I, yeah, I had well, Americans don't know it. <laughs> yeah, because it's Commonwealth. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> what? What games? <laughs> well, um, before we start, I just want to wish everybody Selamat Hari Raya, uh, Eid Mubarak, you know, uh, Selamat Hari Raya, Adi Fitri. So, hope that everyone is safe at home as well. Yeah. So, uh, before we continue, I just want to first, uh, those of you are just coming in, Hey, I just want to quickly introduce you to Josiah. How how I met, how I met Josiah. So I met Josiah through Evo Club, right? So guys, this is the awesome part about Evo Club. You get to meet so many people, and just so happened Josiah stays like a stone throw away from me and Alex. Literally, Wong. Yeah, yeah, Alex Mo STM, our mutual friend. Yeah. Uh, yeah, who drives a beautiful Ferrari California. He introduced. He drives me a lot more than the Ferrari. He he's got a whole collection. Yeah. Oh yes, 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 for sure. <laughs> yeah. How could I? <laughs> but what is so in Malaysia? He he yeah. picked up the uh, the Ferrari California. The uh, yeah. yeah, and he introduced nice me car. to Josiah. He's like, hey, you should meet my friend Josiah. You know, and and yeah. and then we went for a drive, and we became friends. Yeah. We just hung out. Yeah. You know. So you know, find out more about being to join like uh, Evo Club and all the events. You know, find out. You can check out at uh, club.evomalaysia.com. Uh, if Simon, we can we can put it up on on the, from the screens. Let the people find out more about that. So yeah, and uh, Josiah was showing up in this uh, Porsche, and and man, this guy drives well, but he's competitive. Man, you can take a man yeah. out of the competition. You can't take the competition out of the man. That's how I met Josiah, right? <laughs> so Josiah, why, why don't you just introduce yourself to uh, some of our uh, our friends over here? Yeah, hi everyone, Josiah Ng. I'm uh, yeah track cyclist. I had the privilege. Uh, an honor of, of representing uh, Malaysia at uh, at uh, for 15 years at uh, three Olympic Games, of course, uh, four Commonwealth Games, uh, Asian Games, and uh, I think 10 World Championships. So, a lot of a um, lot of good times. Um, I, I I've been always been a, a car guy. I've got my driver's license at 16 years old. Uh, oh, you well, came in the US, right? <laughs> I grew up in California. If you can listen to my American slang. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny, huh? Like, um, and you're, I, more I lived in, you're, more, you're more American than Malaysian. <laughs> I, I'm Americanized for sure. Cause I, I you know, I, my, my parents moved there to, to further their studies when I was uh, eight years old. So I'm American ed educated. And then I, I moved to, um, to Australia, to Melbourne, uh, I looked at 26 years old and lived there for 11 years. And then, uh, moved back to Malaysia in 2019 uh, because I saw I saw that there's a better future for me here. Ironically, because a lot of people is like, what? You know, they find out I had a I gave up my permanent residency, my PR status in Australia mm -hmm. to come back to 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 start a family here. And normally it's the other way around, right? Brain drain, they say. Um, not that I have that many, that much brains. <laughs> more brawn than brains. Yeah, yeah, brain. yeah, more brawn than brains. <laughs> but but you know, I, I saw there is. Hey, uh, hey, and, but to, to win, yeah. you need to have more brains than just muscles, man. To win, you, you got to you compete. Do, 
you do okay in my in my sport you do need quick thinking skills i mean you well it's more reaction but you need to know what to do because if you even if you make the right move but you're a split second a hundredth of a second too late and someone makes that game over so yeah. you have to do that on the day itself you know when you've trained it for it your whole life and you only you only have one chance it's yeah. like there's no do over right so um and then it, and then sometimes like if someone makes a mistake or you you know you can take you can you can die you can you can get taken out you can crash you can spend a lot of time in the intensive care unit which i did you know i've, yeah, I've you punctured, know that i've punctured yeah. my life you know i've crashed at 80 kilometers an hour with nothing more than a star piece of styrofoam on my head and 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 um thin piece of lycra you know so and i've got i've got all these skull yeah, it's just a you know, my, a bicycle helmet, just a little piece, you know. Oh, so eighty kilometers. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I I mean, I got broken bones everywhere. I mean, look, I've got, I've had five surgeries. I mean, hey, I, be careful with that. The ladies are gonna go crazy for that. Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't think any ladies they go. Ooh. You know, that's about what that's about it. But you know, us guys, <laughs> we like we're like, yeah, I'm I'm a man. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of thing, you know. It's like driving a V8. It's like, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, so, so yeah. So ba basically, I've, I've, uh, you know, I've always been a, a petrol head, gear head. What do we call it? Do we call it here, petrol head. Oh, yeah. You know? Petrol head more in Malaysia, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And um. <laughs> I uh, I would never. I would probably never own an electric car. <laughs> well, they're called vehicles, they're not cars. <laughs> well, I, funny thing is, I I used to I used to rent my dream cars or whatnot. Uh, when I went went to visit my my family, and they they all live in California still. Mm -hmm. So once or twice a year, I'll go visit. I would go on this forum, a platform called Turo. I don't know if anyone yeah, ever heard of it. Rent a car, right? Yeah. So rent. It's like Airbnb, but you rent your car. Mm -hmm. I don't know why in the hell anyone would want to rent their baby out to someone. It's like it's like renting your wife out, right? It's like, come on, man. It's like, you know. but nope, never. you know, uh, it it gives it gives you a chance to 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 um, to try out yeah, for a couple yeah. of the experience. So I, you know, every time I've, I've done all kinds of different ones, and uh, this time I went, okay, I want to see what the big deal is, uh, and I rented a Tesla. Funny thing, right? It, 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 I was out, you know, I always go visit all my friends and family all around Southern California. So yeah. I can drive like 300 miles, two, 300 miles a day. Okay. Yeah. And I was driving to Palm Springs to see my, 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 one of my closest friends who's a, who's a, a you know, Porsche guy and a Ferrari guy too. He has both. And uh, it said, okay, 80 miles to go. I mean, 80 miles to go. And, and my, I had enough electricity for eight to go 85 miles. Do you that mean way. So, so it's it's very close. Or I could go the other direction and top up in twenty miles. Me being me, I'm like, okay, it should make it. I call I call the owner, right? Say, hey, this is my scenario. I say, will it make it? He says, sure, no problem. Because even if you get to zero, you still have a little bit left. Okay, so about five miles before Palm Springs, the charging station, the whole car like. Started going beep 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 beep, and it started warning me. It's like a, like a plane, yeah, it's like the plane going down. You know, like you're in an airplane, like that kind of like emergency, like the whole car beeping, and one system after another started sh shutting down. And luckily, I it shut down just there was a exit just. I was on highway too, right? On a freeway over there. You, it's yeah. like we're we're like going eighty five miles an hour, ninety miles an yeah. hour. Yeah. So I uh, yeah. So 150 k an hour. So I sh just managed to exit and pull to the emergency lane just in time. Everything shut down. The windows went down automatically, so I could breathe. Of course, uh -huh. nothing. And I, I there was no battery left for even the emergency lights to flash. Oh man! So I waited. Luckily, I mean, with this service at Turo, they give you um, it's full support. Yeah. So I I called. Okay, you know I'm not, Explain my scenario, and um, it's okay. A tow truck, okay. Tow, tow truck might be about five hours. I'm like, what? Normally, it's like twenty minutes. Oh well, these Teslas, 
they don't, a, a normal tow trucks can't tow these things. So if Ooh. any Malaysians want to, you know, you want to um, uh, buy a Tesla, you're kind of going to be screwed if you run out of uh, juice going to Penang or something. Oh, okay. It, you, know, you have to have a special flatbed because if not, you'll damage the battery. Ooh. Okay. So, okay. So only positive. Thing, okay. There was a couple of positive things like Tesla's great acceleration. Great. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we already have the semi self-driving, which is pretty yeah. cool technology. Yeah. But if you imagine, like, pe people can hack into your car now because you're online, you know? You may imagine, like, okay, you know, someone wants a ransom for you and they manage to hack your car. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, you, you, that's, why, that's why you drive a classic, yeah? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Old school, right? <laughs> so I didn't, I mean, the driving dynamic is kind of boring. It's very quiet. It's just uh -huh. like, you know. Um, so, yeah. No go on the Tesla. Oh, and to fill it up, since it went all the way down, it had to recondition the battery, and I was there another five hours to recondition. So I lost like eleven hours or twelve hours of my day. Oh, that's a that's terrible. A good so never that's again a Tesla. Never again a Tesla. Oh, this is a pretty early technology. But oh, hey, it was early. A, it was early. Yeah, it was one yeah. of the first. There is a P sixty five, which only had like could only go like two hundred twenty uh. miles. Before a charge, now they can go like four hundred miles, but oh yeah, still. yeah. But we're gonna talk a lot about cars later in this show, okay? So <laughs> got ahead of myself. More than ten minutes past talking about cars. It's a <laughs> proper car guy here, yep. right? We're talking about vehicles, not cars, right? <laughs> so yes, topic of the day. Uh, the reason why we got Josiah on is Talk Gear is a talk show for guys and then car guys, car guys and girls. You know, we talk about cars, uh, talk about what we like, what we don't like, what we think about cars. This is particularly what Top Gear is all about. And sometimes we bring you people who you know uh, give advice about maintenance. Maybe it's uh, for, for detailing, whatever. That's that's what Top Gear is all about. We talk about cars, okay? So thank you so much for being here, guys. Uh, if you... Oh, this episode is going to be a little bit different. We're going to get to know Josiah a little bit more because uh, more than just Top Gear, I think, you know, uh, it's, it's more than just cars. Sometimes you meet people who really inspire you. And uh, this episode will be more than just about cars. We're going to, we're going to talk about... Um, mindset, motivation. Because when I, you know, get into Josiah's story, every time I hear his story, um, when I meet him and I hear it, when he's telling other people, I get inspired. I see different angles of his story. So we're gonna talk more about that after the break. And for those who are just joining us, hey, uh, hit the like button if you're enjoying this. Uh, please share this. You know, if your friends are locked down at home and nothing to do, send them the link. Ask them to join us. Chat in the comment box. Uh, and and say hi in the comment. We can actually see you in the comments. All right. So let's see over here. We have uh, Lester. Hey Lester, you're tuning all the time, man. Thanks for tuning in. Derek. Oh, Derek is watching every single episode. Thanks, uh, Derek. Harish. Alan. Kenneson. Hey, how are you doing, man? All right. Kenneson is uh, is looking to get nine one eleven. You know, he had a he had a Merc. So he's going to nine eleven. Good job. Good choice. Good. Good, good choice. way up. Good way forward. <laughs> <laughs> Roshan, hey, CK80 says, I want your bike, Josiah. <laughs> I don't think it's for Which sale, bike? right? <laughs> Which bike? <laughs> Everything's for sale. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> for the right price. <laughs> yeah, except for my family. Uh, ah, see? And that's the same way for me for my spider when you say I'm going to sell it, which will never happen. Okay. So we should put a bet on that. <laughs> uh, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go for a break. When we come back, we're going to find out more about uh, Josiah's competitive story, how he became a competitive athlete. And uh, after that, later in the day, we're going to talk about his, uh, his, the cars he's owned, the most memorable cars he's had because he's got the privilege to live in America, Australia, try different cars. And then, of course, at the end of the show, we're going to play Dude, Where's My Car? Okay, more of that in uh, this episode of Top Gear. Uh, we're going to go for a break and then we're going to start with the section of uh, how he became an Olympian. All right, so let's start. Maybe about 500 bucks. 
say for about thousand plus. Should work out cheaper for me. Four thousand. Two one five, even more. It's for two hundred plus. Four hundred bucks of savings. Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so if you're back here and, and just let us know in the comment box where you're tuning in from. Are you from KL? Are you from Singapore? Uh, sometimes you've got guys tuning in from Bangladesh, sometimes from Australia. So shout out in the comments below where you're tuning in from so we can see where you are, where you guys are tuning in from, all right? Okay, so Josiah, we're back now. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, I, first of all, I feel really honored that I get to meet you and then become friends with you. You know, and, and and just hang out with you, like uh, just talk about cars and stuff. And you have this amazing story of how you started off um, to 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 get into cycling, right? Because you like the four wheels, but you like the two wheels too, right? So why don't we share with the audience, like how, how did you become an Olympian? Did you did you knew you were always going to be a competitive cyclist or, or how, how did you actually become that? Well, I, I started out, I just really loved it. Um, and... and and I look back when I tell my story to, to all these corporate people, I'm like trying to think back why, why, what drew me to it. I guess, well, grow, I mean, some of you may, may know growing up with, in, a, in a traditional um, Chinese Malaysian household, um, it's not easy. There's all lots of ex expectations and, and they almost pre-route you on your education, on, 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 your, education on, your, on your life journey. It's like, you know, my parents were, uh, they're all, they're musicians. I mean, come from a family of string uh, classical musicians. And, I, you know, like my dad, it started my grandma and my dad and his two sisters, they all have masters of PhD in music. And, and, and then my, and the second part is my family are all healthcare. So they got two careers going. They're all in healthcare. So it's like, I only had two choices pretty much. Anything else is like foreign to them. Like, why would you want to do that? Like, you know, my mom was like, your, 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 your bicycle will never put food over, uh, on your table or, or a roof over your head, you know, that kind of thing, you know? <laughs> so I, I guess that, that, that cycling allowed me freedom. And it's, it's similar to cars, right? It's like being out there and, 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 and being able to – go anywhere we like with our friends and being able to talk about it and do it. It's like, it's, it's, it's just a, a form of freedom. And that's why I really loved it. So, you know, but I wasn't very good at it. At the, my first race, I was 14 years old. I got last place. Like there was oh. a few girls. Yeah. There was a few girls in my race and they all beat me. Uh, it was terrible. It was, it was embarrassing. And, um, you know, so I don't, I don't blame my parents like for, for discouraging. It's like, I sucked. But when, but but it's 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 awesome, isn't it? I mean, you you oh. are world champion, right? But then your first race you lost, like like last. Yeah. This is some some real encouragement here, isn't it? I mean, guys, I, I want to talk about this because yeah. some of you guys are either in life or in business or in a career, you know. And and uh, Josiah is just a top guy, and and just hearing his story, I didn't know that. I didn't know that you you lost your first race. I I could most people would have quit, yeah. isn't it? Well, I, I was close. I was like, man, maybe this is not for me. Then I set myself a goal. I said, okay, if I don't get top five in the next race, I will quit because it's not for me. If like two times you suck, it's like if one time is coincident, maybe two times is, well, you suck. <laughs> it's confirmation. <laughs> so, okay, I said, okay, but I'm going to prep this time. And I, I did everything I could. Uh, I, I did research. This is pre-internet stage, so you guys know how old I am. I'm in my 40s. <laughs> I'm quite old. You don't look 40 uh, at all, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> I am, man. <laughs> I feel it some days. So yeah. So basically, just um, yeah, I did research in the library. I got a coach. I set goals, and you know what? I got fifth place. So barely yeah. scratched it. <laughs> I said top five, or I'll quit, and I got fifth. And my last name, what's my last name? Mm, number five in Cantonese. 
Uh, oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's my it's my biggest curse. I got fifth at the Olympics. I got fifth at the Commonwealth Games for the first two Commonwealth Games. And you know, you, it, you know that, that shows you like hey, you should you be can a fail. Young, you know? you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's one, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, but I'm not. So <laughs> Okay, so you feel and then uh no. So it's just like uh, I, I got fifth in my my first Commonwealth Games, fifth at my second Commonwealth Games. So it took me three Commonwealth Games before I won. You know, unfortunately, it didn't go the same way in the Olympics. I got fifth, and then the next one I got worse, and the next one I got worse. Um, you know, but that's another story. But I, you know, um, sometimes it doesn't work. But uh, you know, a lot of the times with a good plan and execution. So goal setting was was key. Uh, for me to to reach uh, my goals, for for me to reach my dreams, achieve them, and it took a long time. It took ten years before, from last place, the first Olympics. It's ten years of work. Wow, and 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 would you say that's the most important trait uh, that supported your success? Yeah, it is. It is the most important traits. Um, yeah, and, and you know what? Setting, passion. Right? Yeah, passion. Yeah, passion. Okay, so so goal setting is not the trait. Goal goal setting set, setting is actually a skill set. A skill set, yeah. So yeah, before we go into set, yeah. so before we go into what's the most important trait, but talk about goal setting because some people say goal setting is like oh I just I just write down a piece of paper what I want or I just tell I oh, know I just think like oh this is what I want, but because it's really misconstrued I believe because it's not as as simple as just yeah. like I just say what I want I wanna I wanna. Uh, yeah. a nine nine uh, an, a G series Targa, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Bob, Bobby would probably no, write not. like 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 I want a, a, a Alpha Romeo Disco Volante Spider, right? No. So yeah. how, how how do you how do you do the process? Because I know you you coach people as well, right? I you, do. You talk, uh, look, I you talk to corporates. Yeah. You've been talking to the big MNCs yeah. and guys about yeah. about about uh, goal setting. Do you mind to yeah. share with the, the audience how do you go set? Because look, yeah. many car guys here, and we want to we have a dream cars, right? So yeah, okay. So okay, well, just to give you a little background, I'm a I'm a performance coach. Um, I coach specifically in cycling, but also do outside. Uh, um, uh, like I've worked with teams from Facebook, Google, IBM, Intel, Airbnb, Uber, PwC, um, a lot of banks, Quap. KWAP, um, mm -hmm. so uh, and that's that's in probably the last six eight months. All those companies um, they book they book me online. I do Zoom one hour to to sixty to ninety minutes with them, um, and then we go. You know, I'm of course in in sixty ninety minutes. I can't really teach them everything, but I I, I go through it like this. Goal setting is quite quite important. So what I do is re I reverse goal set. Right. So like what what is the, what's your biggest goal? So uh, not too long ago in January, I, I was coaching um, these um, MotoGP development riders, Malaysian. Um, and they all wanted to, you know, six of them. They wanted to be MotoGP riders like Valentina Rossi. Right. Or the yeah. Marquez brothers or yeah. whatnot. And I said, OK, how are you going to do that? Oh, you know, it's like. Oh really? This what you say? Yeah. Well, I mean, they, they oh. really didn't. They, they did. You know, they didn't really yeah, have plan. a specific plan. So it's basically I help them put together uh, a roadmap, right? And it, it, look, it could be as simple as one page. It, it, it's it's a work. It's a living document, and uh, we printed it out uh, everywhere. You know, we printed it out in their room, in their bathroom, in their kitchen. Um, when they got in their training, changing rooms, so that they could visualize. It's always visualize, and it's not like okay, it's not so simple because you've got you've got your big ultimate goal, and then you go okay, your your medium term goals. That's like one to two years. Okay, so in order to achieve my big goal, what do I have to do in the next year or two? And then after that, you got your micro goals, which is your daily task or what you got to do today. To get to next day, so it, it gets more complex than, than that. But you know, I, that's kind of the gist of it. And the second thing is, what we did was as a team, and this is for for you work as a, 
for those of you who work in teams or you know whether you have a business or you're in corporate or you know if you're like a you're a team leader or whatnot here's some free or advice which i marketing like like uh like me yeah, yeah or yeah. Uh, yeah this is yeah i mean companies all these guys pay me you know thousands of ringgit <laughs> or us dollars <laughs> for this so yeah. so what this one really worked was the belief and the support system so what we did for these MotoGP guys was after they did their goal setting, we had a banquet, right? So we, we, we had their banquet, uh, like a, that, okay, this one was, we had to wait, it was a pain. We had to wait till MCO went to CMCO. And then, you know, we got their parents out, we got all the stakeholders out and um, we got them on stage, which we practiced with them to, to thank everyone for coming <clears throat> and declare their goals in front of people. I, you know, I, I'm th thanks for coming. You know, really, you know, they had to thank all the datos or whatnot for supporting yeah, yeah, yeah. them, SIC, CEO, whatnot. My goal is to be a MotoGP rider in the premier class in oh. six years or in five years or they whatever must be shaking. they must be shaking they were they were they were but we practiced <laughs> together i helped them yeah and and okay and and this year is a critical year for me yeah i have to get top three in this series in the spanish championships and in order to get top three i have to get three wins three podiums blah 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 Man, and how, how am I gonna do that? Well, every single day I'm gonna show up to training 30 minutes early. I'm gonna eat the right food. I'm gonna da, 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 da. and it's like so everyone's like, wow, we believe you because you did the work. You get you basically in five minutes gave us your roadmap of how you're gonna achieve your dreams. That's that's how it works. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Every single one of those riders has podiumed in their first races. Every yeah. single one. Okay. Then the last one is we unveiled a trophy cabinet, 5,000 ringgit. They built it with their oh, names. Yeah, well, this is awesome. With yeah. their names, with their results from what they, on their goals. So it, it and then we put, we put that in the garage so every day they show up to, 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 to training there's a spotlight and they're reminded and re-inspired what they got to get done today because they've got empty cabinets they they got to fill up and you mm -hmm. know the, this was a game changer because before i started working with them they're all coming to, you know they're all really relaxed coming to, to training maybe five minutes early maybe five minutes late but the you know their manager was like telling me, hey, man, when I used to, he, he was like one, one of the first uh, world championship podium guys at the, at the Moto, Moto GP Moto, Moto 3, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Fami Karudin, some of you may know, he's like, man, I, I came to training half an hour early every day, every day. These guys aren't doing it. And I catch out them, I scold them, everything, nothing seems to work. So when I, when I came to work with them, I said, hey, why they need to know why what why do you think i asked them why do you think we should go up go to training show up the training half an hour early i don't know just to be i don't know i said no, well don't, don't be in trouble with my coach you know, it, it's, it's <laughs> commitment yeah no it's commitment it's yeah. it, it's just to show your team how much you want it and you, you go there so that you can prepare all your barang everything and then you need time to switch on game day you need you need time to switch on your beast mode right you can't show up to training and then you're already thinking about oh you know i yeah you know, i'm almost you know all scuffled up in your head you know you need to mm -hmm. be there to switch on and turn on and focus on what you gotta do so they're like okay so you know what from then on fami and i would show up we'd be half an hour early we'd be the last ones there every single training session so all these things put together and they all started you know the, the younger ones went to the atc in, in qatar and they they got five podiums 
the Whoa. Adam, uh, yeah, a Adam. Um, uh, there, there's there's two brothers, uh, Ibrahim, uh, uh, Adam Noradin. He had in previous years. He, he's done world championships three times. He he had in previous he years. He, he was like a top ten rider, barely top ten. The last two, the first two legs of, it, of the Spanish championships, this CEV, he got two podiums, third place. Uh, so it's a game changer. This process is proven. And uh, yeah, that's why I get paid. <laughs> that's how I charge. <laughs> that's, that's how I charge my con. But uh, it's, <laughs> it, it it really works because I'm I'm living example of it. Yeah, and um, you know, uh, you know, humble beginnings and and uh, still a long way to go in in, in you know my second career. But uh, yeah, the system is proven, and I just have to stick with the system, and that's why I'm so confident I'm going to achieve what I set out to achieve. Oh, thanks for sharing, man. Um, now, there's a lot of gold over there. I wish I had my notebook with me. But uh, no, look, there's, there's a lot of gold over here. And the reason why I want to bring Josiah up, and first of all, thanks, Josiah, for sharing, because he would have charged thousands to bring it to me. You know, no. hey, don't send me the bill. I'll give you a bottle of wine. <laughs> but, but uh, um, you know, I've, I've, been, I've been in training. I've been in corporate training and stuff. Um, you know, the, the things he's sharing is gold. You know, so I hope you guys are getting something out of it. If you are, please share the comments what you're getting out of it. I know this is not the common talk here. We just talk about cars. But I know a lot of you out there, you want to you wanna have your dream car, right? You want to have uh, yeah. this car, X car. Hey, I, I was like that as well. When I was earning 3,500 ringgits in a hotel, and I, I did the calculation. I said, I'm never going to own nice cars if I work in a hotel. You know, mm -hmm. so so it all it's all a mindset game, you know. So I, if some of you are out there watching this video and you're like, hey, I, I'm, I don't know if I can ever reach the dream car I want to, um, got to take notes on this one. Goal setting, right? Actually, I, I did the... I, so coincidentally, I think, I did the same things for my bodybuilding competition as well. I went bodybuilding for, 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 uh, for 2013, right? I did the same thing for my business, right? For, for I knew I had to reach a certain level of like sales or, or team members before I can start off India. You know, micro goals, medium goals, uh, large goals as well. So yeah, yeah, I, I, I definitely had the same concept as Josiah as well. So yes, it's proven system. So I hope you guys do really get value out of this. So if you do, just share the comments below. What, what are you learning from this? Give us some like button, smash the like button if you already enjoy this as well. And uh, this is a quick shout out to Josiah as well. If you... If you're working for a company or you run a company or you have a team member and you want Josiah to come and talk to you, um, you can go to uh, www.airbnb.com slash Josiah Ng. All right, you can check out uh, his uh, experience to you guys. So this is a quick shout out over there. Yeah. So thanks for sharing that, Josiah. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I did promise a little bit of motivation. So here you go. There, there's it. And you're gonna get, you're gonna <laughs> you get it out of the way. <laughs> get out of the way, man. <laughs> All right. Um, I was gonna ask you a question though. You know, you, you did track cycling, right? Yeah, track cycling. So I want to ask you, like, okay, we're talking about cars, right? So, what's the fastest you've ever been? Because my friend told me I've been on a bike and I've been to 100 k's an hour, 100 km uh, yeah. an hour. Uh, what's the fastest that you've ever been on your bike? I'm just really curious, like, because my friend said 100 k, I'm like. I don't believe that because your tires are so small, right? Yeah. And, and even if you're going downhill, you probably can't steer your bike because you're going so fast. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, downhill, I, I, I think I'm around 100K back when I was really young and stupid. Um, <laughs> but on, on the track, I, I've, I've hit over 80, 80, 85 on the, tra on the velodrome. If one, and yeah. so our bikes are one gear and no brakes. Oh, how do you slow down? It's fixed gear, so you just pedal slower. Oh, well, that's it? No, yeah, that's it. I mean, it takes about two rounds to come to a complete stop. <laughs> Can it's you ride gnarly. a bike like, in, 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 in normal conditions? Like road? No, right? No. Well, yeah, a lot of people do. Um, what? It's a little, really? It's a little dangerous. I mean, it's, normally they just put a brake on it. And some of them, some of the extreme fixie guys, they don't have brakes. And they end up, some of them end up killing themselves because they can't stop. Or, you know, they'll skid to a stop or whatever, but, you know, they're, they're usually in big cities, hanging out, Tokyo, New York, London, or whatnot, and a lot of them die. A lot of them get killed. 
because they're it's stupid, right? It's like it'd be like us going out in our cars and hey, that's, that's not that breaks. <laughs> yeah, like uh, how dumb is that? But a lot of people, I don't know. It's a it's a subculture. You know, they take their sexy bikes and go out there and try to pretend to be cool when they. Some of them know what they're doing, but sometimes you, you really need an emergency brake and you don't have brakes. So you, so you, won't, you won't do that. As a professional cyclist, you'll never do that. <laughs> no, of course not. I mean, you know, for me, a track, for me, a track bike you know, needs to be kept on the track. You know, but the, the, the tracks that we ride on are pretty gnarly, pretty insane. I and, mean, you know, uh, some, some of it uh, in the corners is like 46, 47 degree banking. So, in fact, when, you, when you're going to the to the edge of the track, you can put your hand on the wall that you ride on. You're like, wow, that's insane. How can I, how do I like not slip down? Um, and the, and the se uh, secret answer is um, you, you, you can slip down if you're, you have to go over like 25 K an hour to stick on the track. But it, it's, it's uh, what I can describe to someone that has never done it. Um, it's, it's like and a roller coaster. It. It's like roller, roller coaster. Like you, you feel the G's like, you know, you're pulling like, I don't know, like G and a half, you know, it's like pretty, it's pretty cool. And you have nothing on you except a, a little Velcro. Nothing. Yeah. Uh, the Lycra. It's just basically, it's, it's basically like. Lycra, no Velcro. Lycra. Yeah. yeah it's Lycra. Like, yeah. It's like the, the materials, like, 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 like your Lululemon, whatever, right? It's just, just a thin <laughs> piece of. So if you, if you're, if you, if you crash at 80K an hour, you're, you're burning through skin. I mean, I've got all kinds of, I don't know, you probably can't see that that well on here, but it's, all kinds of scars all over me, you know. So it's <laughs> you get you, skin burn, you know. But uh, uh, well, yeah. you had a, a a really bad crash that you shared earlier that you punctured your lungs and stuff, and that yeah. was that was in uh, that was when you decided to retire, right? After that, was uh, it? Or? I tried to make a comeback, uh, and then before I crashed, I was top in the world. You know, I would regularly easily be you know top top six um and um after that i just i was like bottom 20. Oh. so when you're used to being you're performing at a certain level and then you you can't you know you kind of uh plateau and you you know um it's just that when you i, I crashed quite bad and my my body was never the same mm. even now it's, it's, uh, it's a trauma it's a huge trauma man i mean it's yeah punctured lungs and broken collarbones and stuff right you say collarbones right yeah, yeah, that one I punctured my lung. Uh, spent um, five nights uh, in uh, intensive care unit in Mexico because we were at we were at altitude in uh, Aguas Calientes, uh, Mexico. And, Are you doing um, there? No, yeah. no, we were at the World Cup. We we're competing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and and uh, we we're going about five or six k an hour faster than we normally would because the air is thinner, so you can. Oh, it you makes know, a you, you pierce through the air a lot easier, right? Really, so, it makes a difference. A huge, huge, huge difference. It like looks like F one. It's like aerodynamics make a big, big difference, right? Oh, yeah. Five so, k more. Just five, uh, just five, just because wow. it's like such thin air. Um, and then so we in, we end up. I, my computer showed that I went. I was going eighty one when I crashed, and the, and the videos on YouTube. It was bad. Like I was like a limp, like lifeless. And uh, everyone thought I was I was dead, and everyone's like crying. Jeez. All my colleagues, um, and then one guy saved my life. He he pierced through my chest cavity because um, so there breathe. was the, yeah, so I could breathe again. Jeez. So yeah, it was gnarly. Wow. I, yeah, for obviously my my ribs broke my I mean pierced my lungs. Wow. I, that's why I had a pneumothorax. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it was. Um, did, it, did it occur to you to stop, like, like cycling? You know, like, like, how did you get the the the, the will nah. to keep cycling? No, but I mean, I've 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 gone through that several times in my career, and just it's it's what you know, right? It's like you know, like racing car drivers. They're they get in a big crash, they still continue. Just like a last F one season. Uh, yeah. What's his name? Uh, he cried. He's still racing cars. You know, it's like he almost died, right? He was on fire. Freaking guy was on oh. fire. You're like, what? Grosjean, Grosjean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Roman, Roman Grosjean. Yeah. And it's like, he's not, uh, he's no longer an F1, but he's still racing cars. It's yeah. in your DNA. I'm always going to be a bike racer. 
Ah, you did. You 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 turn on a bike, uh, turn on a, a nice drive for for bike, bike <laughs> biking. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. That, it's just, it's just, it, I mean, like to, to think like, hey, you because some people out there like like myself, like I got burned in business sometimes in investments, right? And yeah. we're like, oh, I'm never gonna do it again, right? Because of one bad experience. Yeah. And 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 you know, for some people watching here, like, hey, I, I'm I'm trying to build a business or build a side income or side hustle so I can. Yeah. I can uh I can afford my dream car, but just because it failed once, it doesn't mean that you're gonna that you you should quit, right? Uh, uh, it's I think a that it, you have to fail. To you have to fail. <laughs> you're gonna fail yeah, a lot more than you'll succeed. Yeah. I mean, that's just the truth of the matter. It just yeah. how it works. Just just be ready to fail, right? And that's the same thing yeah. for my business and I, I, even my investments. I I failed horribly. Right? I lost sixty k. Lost 150k. Same here. Right? Same here. I've <laughs> lost like, a lot of money too. Let's throw money in the air. That's it. It's it's not it's not throwing away though because we learn something va Dude. very valuable and yeah. then we apply. I mean, if we're if you're smart, you apply what you learn. Like my dad, my dad calls it a time. tuition fees. Tuition it is. Fees. It really is. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Anyways, uh, um, Con got the question over here, guys. Please feel free to ask your questions. Uh, we're just talking. About how fast you could go on a bike and you share about the accident. Can you actually oversee on a bicycle? Is it possible? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, it's it's but cycling is the same thing. You can oversteer, understeer. So same which thing. which is scarier, oversteer or understeer? Uh, understeer. <laughs> oh, shit, same same as cars. Yeah. Oh, it's the same thing. You you you're gonna crash either way. <laughs> well, guys, let me know. Let's yeah. know chat below. Like, what what do you think is more scary for you in your car, oversteer or understeer? Let's let's hear it in the chat below. What do you think? I I agree with you in cars as well. Um, yeah. maybe I'm just more comfortable with. I drove BMWs fast, so I like sliding my cars. So I'm more yeah. comfortable with with uh with I'm more comfortable with oversteer than understeer. <laughs> well, last time you were behind me, I understeered in the yeah. almost understeered into the <laughs> wall, trying to follow. Trying to trying to follow Zen Low, idiot me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. trying to follow a GT driver, and I, and, I was in a in a six hundred horsepower Ferrari. <laughs> and then and then he's driving a, a nine nine seven point one, three right? hundred horsepower, Tiptronic. <laughs> <laughs> I was in my Spider, and then me and Johan was sitting behind, and yeah. and, and when we well, you were behind funny. me when you're going up, and then and then you were you were behind Zen Low. Yeah. On the way down, I was like, yeah. "Oh my god!" Like <laughs> he's like competitive, yeah, really competitive. <laughs> and I'm I'm not a very you know that's the first time I kind of pushed that car since I bought it. I mean, I've 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 gone to the track with the car before, like with my Mustangs. I mean, yeah. but but the last time I went to the track was like 2011. Man, so this it's is been real, like 10 real engine, years. Rear drive is different. Yeah, yeah. Totally, totally, totally different. Totally different. Yeah, they can't. They can't get understeer. When it does, it's just scary, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, but Let's you know see, what? Yeah. I was I was calm. I, I was calm, and uh, you know, luckily. Oh, you through. got you got the same biking mindset on, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you catch that one pretty fast. It was pretty fast because I th I thought I thought it was airbags and then ambulance. And yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that that was in my mouth. Like, oh, uh, that's it. That's it. Luck. And then and then you're fine. We're like, yeah. oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember being in a car, leg on the clutch, leg on the brake. I was ready to yeah. just emergency brake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, over here, yeah. Nitin says oversteer is scary for him. Uh, hey, guys, yeah. if you let me know in the comments. So, what do you think is scary to oversteer or understeer? All right. Okay. So, yes, uh, Con, you can oversteer. So, how, how do you correct the oversteer in the, in, the, in the bike? And then we move on to the next few topics. How, how do you correct it? Or you just uh slide because I because you have two you have two wheels front and back, right? Because if I oversteer, yeah, yeah. I just think all you do is just you crash, right? Yeah, you crash. Uh, there's no, there's no there's not there's not really any correction. <laughs> yeah, I mean sometimes you get lucky and you like don't go over the edge, but most of the times like you know you go down. So you just you yeah, just go down. And like, okay, you, just, just you just remember to like you, you have to like tuck, tuck and, and roll. That's it. <laughs> yeah, uh, because if you you stick because most of the time if you stick your hand out, you'll break your collarbone. 
啊，啊，所以 OK， 就是 in the bike、yeah. you oversteer. If I ever ride, I'm not sure I will. But if I ride, if I, if I oversteer, just、uh, call a bro and pray. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> if I ever get on a bike, I probably wear my rosary every day. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just, just, just really because you still have the bikes at home and you still cycle. I'm just thinking, like, how does this guy do、yeah. it? Like, he almost died on the bike and he's still cycling. Like, how, how, how he does it? And it's, it's inspirational, really, it's really passion. inspirational. It's passion. Yeah, and 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 that's what you say, right? That's the most important trait to be successful, right? Passion. Yeah, you have. That's the number one trait. You gotta really love it, or else you're not. Because it's too hard. Anything, anything. Whether it's being an entrepreneur, whether it's going to be a doctor, a lawyer, or whatever, or or professional athlete,、yeah. it's it's too hard if you don't love it. You gotta love doing it, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, if anything, you want to be the best in the world, right? If you want to be, you know, outstanding, just ultra, outstanding. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You got you gotta love what you do. You you means you do the work when no one's watching, right? You do the、yeah. best. When no one's、yeah. watching, you put a hundred percent. You know, well, most of the time, no one will be watching because it's it takes so much work. You know,、um, that's why guys like Elon Musk is always on his Twitter because he likes the attention. Because for so many years, <laughs> I bet you for so many years he didn't. No one was watching. Yeah, no one yeah. was watching. So But, it's it's just the same thing as as me, like. Majority of my career, no one's watching, and then all of a sudden, one day I get to the world stage. I'm on TV,、uh, got thousands of people watching me, all eyes on. It's like, well, well, for you know, ten, nine years, no one watched. But passion is what keeps you going, even when you have a poor result or when 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 things aren't great and、oh, stuff.、Yeah. You, still, you still do it, right? You, st- you still do it. Yeah, because you enjoy the process. Yeah, yeah. And look, at you. look at you! Look at you! I I watch you painstakingly polishing your freaking leather, <laughs> cleaning the cracks <laughs> like a slave, and I'm like, hey, this guy、slave. is truly, truly, truly passionate. Hey, I, you know, <laughs> you're gonna spend time in the car, right? You're gonna feel good in the car, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, chase- I moved to I moved to Malaysia where it's cheap. I have someone do it for me. I'll, I'll I'll chase all the dirt, like every single piece of dirt I can find. I, you know, <laughs> I literally saw that. I literally saw. I was like, "Wow, that's real passion. That's no, next level." Oh, thanks, man. I, I just I just、oh. love how 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 the I just love to give just to give the car some love. That's that's it. That's it. That's all I can say. Yeah, yeah. I get I, it. I get it. I'm gonna detail detail more cars as well, and、uh, in my in my YouTube channel, I'm gonna I'm gonna put up more videos、uh, coming up soon. Uh, there will be、yeah. two cars I'm detailing. Ah,、uh, one is my mini. The whole process of restoring my mini, minor restoration and full detailing work, and then a a really rare car, one of four in Malaysia, an M six three five CSI, right? And then I'm gonna restore ah、uh, soon a Polo GTI nine N three, very rare manual, and then a Alfa Romeo GTV. Ah,、uh, uh, uh, I'm gonna restore that one as well. So yeah,、oh, I, cool、I do、car. I do enjoy it. Yeah. And I I feel like I don't have to get paid for doing it because I I just I just love the process. Like if I I just feel like you know no one should call me. I just do my work and no one just just shut the whole world off. Yeah, so I get it's it. Like it's stressing. It's distressing, but yes, and, and、yeah. but you got that passion because you know you you run out of、uh, you run out of、uh, you have bad days, right? And, and passion keeps、yeah. you going in those bad days. Yeah, yeah, totally agree. Yeah, uh, Nitin, those those falls are not. Here yet? They are they are coming out soon. So if you want to find out more and、uh, when the video comes up, subscribe to my channel, Thomas Yap at、uh, YouTube. Yeah. So yeah,、uh, we're gonna go for a break. Well, it's been forty nine minutes. We're talking about、uh, just just goal setting and stuff. We、we'll、talk about cars in a moment. After the break, we're gonna come back talk about cars. What what cars that Josiah used to own? Uh, what cars he intend to have and stuff like that. Um,、uh, you know, cause. Just I have the the experience of the the privilege I think privilege of living in America, which America has a great、yeah. car culture, right? It does and then it Aust- really does. And then Australia,、yeah. and then back in Malaysia. So we've owned different cars. So after the break, we're gonna come back to talk about what cars Just I used to own, and see which cars are fast enough for a three-time Olympian, two-times Olympian, and world champion. <laughs> 
right, we're gonna go for a quick break and then uh, we're gonna come back with that. All right. All right, man. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, so Ms. Hey, everyone. Class, thanks, thanks, thanks so much for the session about the mindset, motivation. I'm I'm just wanting to know you better because, and I hope the audience gets to know you better because when they do, look, we, we pick inspiration off each other, right? So um, I've got I got huge value out of it. Uh, if you guys got value, please share it on the chat, like what value you've gotten. Yeah, and thanks for sharing that, Josiah. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Oh, yeah, my pleasure. So let's move you know, on. So go ahead. Wait, what no, I was just finishing up my list of what cars I've owned and what year. Guess how many cars I've owned? Because I never thought about it before. Yeah, guess what? How many cars has Josiah owned? Just type on the chat below. Like, how many cars do you think Josiah has owned in his career? Being a pro athlete, you know, a celebrity, a, a you know, being you know, like 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 you know, at world level. Like, how many cars do you think he's owned? Let's let's see on the chat below. All right. Okay, I'll give I'll give a clue. I've driven six. All right, all right. I've, uh, I've driven twenty five years in my life because I, I got my license when I was sixteen. Sixteen right. got my license, and uh, I've uh, I'm th I'm forty one. Forty one. Okay. So Mr. Young says more than ten. They didn't say twenty five. Look, the five. You can't leave the five, man. The five is always going to be with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, eight, all right, eight, so everyone's got a okay. Do, do we got a prize for the person that gets it right? No, oh, I, mean, I haven't prepared a prize, <laughs> it's for fun, right? All right I fun. Okay, no, uh, uh, okay, I will take okay for uh, one of our drives after the MCO, of course. I'll take them for I'll, I'll buy them coffee and drive them in, in my car. In, in your car, all right? Yeah. They need to get they all get right. a one on one they get a one on one motivate uh personal coaching set, session in, in, in your car good? in my yeah. car in all your right. car all right all right that all is right. good way to put us like right, everyone coach. <laughs> yeah that's I'll, I'll buy coffee at the end and we go we do on we'll do our drive we'll do yeah. our drive cool all right so if you if you guessed it yeah. right okay you get a one to one session yeah. with with uh, Josiah. And then a uh, one-to-one -one session, coffee with him. You get to sit in this car and he drives you around. And and he's a good driver, right? He's a real good driver. Hey, the cycling skills show up in the driving as well, for sure. <laughs> All right, let's yeah, look I, at I, it. I, I think it does. It, it does show up. Yeah, it does, man. Come on, you're not, it's similar. You're not, you're, not, you're not a clumsy driver. You're a good driver, okay? All right, let's see. Okay, uh, Shia Zeng says 15. Uh, Jared says 12. Austin Yap says 33. Justin Liu says 20. Bobby says 25. Simon says 9. Log Yu says 12. Uh, 13. Lester Wong. You know what? So, someone's uh, going to win. Someone, someone, gonna hit. Win. someone hit gonna it. Win. Oh, someone's going to win. Someone's going to win. Who's that? 7. All right. Uh, Harish. Uh, uh, Speed Tribe X. Okay. But, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that Mustang. Watch that Mustang. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give you a little. Uh, uh, I'm gonna to top out that you know. Since you give me something, I give something as well. I'm gonna work on your interior of your car. All right. So if you if you guessed oh, it right, wow. I'm, I'm, I'm personally That's you give me your car gnarly. for three hours. I'm gonna to yeah. touch up your interior, clean it all up. All right. Just make sure it's not an MPV, okay? <laughs> 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 all right. Last last entry. Stephen nine. Derek twenty. Uh, Shang ten. Fifteen. Okay, so if okay. you win one-on-one -on -one session with Josiah uh, yeah. over coffee, you get a you get a uh, you get to sit in his car and drive you around, and I get to clean and Thomas Yap cleans your car. He's your slave for oh, three man. hours. Someone, <laughs> someone, someone guaranteed will win it because I, I saw the number. All right, all right. So, so Whoa. what's the what's the number? What's the number? Okay, okay. Drum beats. <laughs> Do I, do I, do, should I just say just should I just say all the cars or what or just say the number? Okay, why don't we do it with the numbers and then go with the cars, right? 
Oh, what do you what do you think? Say what? <laughs> what do you think? Should, should you go to the cars or go? To the I'll numbers? just say I'll I'll, I'll just say that I'll say the cars. All right, all right. Yeah, so the suspense, the suspense. Fun. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's start with the first okay. car. All right. Okay. My, my first car was a my family car. My my parents car. Nineteen eighty five Toyota Tercel. To Toyota Tercel. Nineteen ninety two. Tercel is a station wagon. Is a piece of crap yeah. that one. Uh, <laughs> 1992 Mit, Mitsubishi Mighty Max. This was in the states. Uh, 1994 <laughs> Honda Civic EX Coupe. 1992 Honda Civic SI hatchback. 2002 hey, WRX. Was that the one they got uh, stolen a couple of times? The Honda hatchback. Yeah, that's the worst car I've ever owned because it got stolen four times. Four <laughs> times. Jesus. And the last time the the police recovered it, it was completely stripped. So it's like, <laughs> oh, I just left it in the junkyard. I'm like, that's a that's a cursed car. <laughs> so actually, it was stolen. My my one of my close friends, he, he he it got stolen twice under him, and, and then he's like, it's a it's it's a bad it's a bad omen. You want a free, you want a car? And I'm like, cool, free Civic, sweet. You know, I I chopped the springs on it. You know, so it was like. It, you know, all my girlfriends at a time, oh my girlfriend, maybe one or two, they said, oh man, this is a stupid car. It was like, you know, it was like a, <laughs> cut springs, you know, because I thought, because I was, I was too cheap. I was too, you know, too poor to, yeah, buy, to buy a real suspension. Right? Yeah. And then it got stolen from me two, two more times and I'm like, oh man. Luckily, I started making money and then my next car was a Subaru uh, Bug right, Eye so uh, state, Stage 4. Uh, and then after that, I broke my collarbone, so I couldn't I couldn't shift anymore. I had to sell it to WRX. Got an Audi A6, which is right. stupid. Yeah, Nissan Skyline V36, which I bought in an auction in Japan. Oh, Must wow. yeah, wow, 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 wow. Well, because one, no, because I, I made I made so I, I I raced in Japan four years, and and they pay you cash, and then if you bring back cash, you got to pay ca tax on it. So instead, I bought a car and imported, exported it to Australia, to Melbourne, because the cars are right. good. Cars are expensive in Australia; they rip everyone off, right? So, right. Uh, and then okay, GFC came, and I won Commonwealth Games and Asian Games medals, and I got like I won two, like my bonus is two hundred thousand ringgit. So I I bought three Mustangs with that. Three uh, Mustangs. Okay. So a must eight, a, nine, ten, all right. Yeah, a, a, a Mustang Bullet, a GT500, and a Celine Parnelli Jones, which is they're all 4.6, 5, 4 5 liter and 5.4 liter supercharged. Hey, you, you told so me all, one of the one of the cars are really special, it used to be owned by uh by a celebrity, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, I won it on eBay and it was Tim Allen, you know, Santa Claus or home improvement. It was his car. Uh, let me let me yeah, see if I can get out there. That's the photo. That's the photo. I I only I told his manager I said I'll only go through with this purchase if Tim comes and meets me and signs the car. So that there is I took a photo of him signing the car. Hey, you guys know do you guys know Tim Allen Home Improvement? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Tim Allen, uh, you guys know Tim or, Allen or, type in the chat. Or, type in the chat Tim Allen if you know him. Or or Santa Claus the movie. Yeah. yeah, if you guys know Tim Allen, you can hear. So, so this is at his warehouse of all his cars. He's a big car collector in North Hollywood, and it's a. In, it was in the most dodgy neighborhood. I thought I was going to be shot. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, he's a proper car guy. Yes, he had about fifty cars there, including. Uh, I think his most impressive one uh, was uh, oh a Carrera GT Silver. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, he had a Carrera GT. The freaking Carrera GT. He, so, so you know why? Okay, so you know why he sold me this car? So why? in US, in US, you get tax. Okay, here you, we get we pay road tax based on the size of the engine, yeah, right? Yeah. Over there, you get paid. You have to pay road tax on the the value of the car. So if you have a Carrera GT, you're going to be paying, I don't know, ten grand a year, USD. I'm I'm guessing like I'm guessing it's really hot. So if yeah, imagine if you Tim Allen, you have 50 cars, you're gonna pay so much. So you know, so you know, right? Hey, our Datuks over here aren't the only dodgy guys. Over there, all the all their rich guys are dodgy too. There's a way to get around it. 
If ah. you have a dealer plate, a dealer license, you can just put dealer plates on all your cars and you pay zero tax. Ah. The caveat is you have to sell four cars a year. And that bullet Mustang Bullet was one of his four cars he sold that year. One to me. So I exported all these three cars to Australia, which that was before the Ford Australia imported the proper Mustang, not the proper Mustangs, the fake Mustangs that they have now. I call them fake because <laughs> the new Mustang. Yeah, the new Mustangs, they're fake. They're not the real deal. They don't have solid rear axle. They don't have the feeling, the rawness, right? All these were 2007. It's like, it's like the 997. Oh, no, it's like the 993 of the 911s. It's the last air cool. So the, the, these are the last proper Mustangs. And they're all limited edition a ones. With, uh, with basic interior, all right? <laughs> no, some of them had pretty nice. They had uh, upgraded yeah. interiors, uh, okay. all three of them. Uh, but still, you know, they, they, they don't hold a candle to the, any German cars. So <laughs> I sold two of them for 20,000 Aussie profit right away. So oh, wow. no, one, one, no, one of them I sold right off the, tr right off the boat. A guy just, he didn't want it. And look, you had to um, change it in Australia to right-hand drive. Yeah. Um, but he said he, he would buy it left-hand drive if I sold it for, you know, I wanted 70 grand. He said, okay. Uh, can you give me 55 grand? Um, and that was back when the Aussie dollar was same on par with US dollar. So I took advantage of that too. It, we call it arbitrage, right? So yeah. basically, uh, I bought it for, t I bought all three for about 26, 27,000 US. Imagine that a V8 Mustang special edition for under 100,000 ringgit. Well, actually, wow. all, all three of them were for, for 200,000 ringgit. Wow. Wow. wow so wow. I, you know, What's so your I, ring it? You can't get it. You get it if it's new. You, you get can't even get one of them here. You can't even get one of them here. I mean, you, you can get a get C class two hundred, C two hundred. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. You know, you can't even pay for a C two hundred. Probably A class. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, so so you know, I sold two, and so I profit a lot. And then seven years later, before I, when I left Melbourne, I sold the other one for more than I bought it for. So in fact, I made. Uh, about 300 plus K ringgit when my initial investment is 200 K. So there, if you do it right, you can make money out of cars. Like even here, when I, my first car in KL, when I, when I moved back in 2019, I bought a Polo GDI, uh, 2012 for like 50,000. And I sold it for 51,000 one year later when hey, I upgraded to 997. Right? Yeah. Hey, it, it's better than losing money. So I, yeah, I've, yeah, and right. same thing with the Skyline. I, I broke even on the Skyline. You know, I've, I've made money on so, a lot of- So you got 10 cars already now, right? With this lead. Okay, okay, so keep going, okay. All right, uh, uh, then, okay, okay. Go, uh, okay, go 10 okay, cars uh, already, Por all right? Porsche Cayenne S. All right, that's 11. That's my first Porsche, which I bought for 12,000 USD. Drove around US for three months, sold it for 12,000 USD. Cheap. That's the yeah. cheap. And that, this was in 2012, so it was only a seven-year-old car. Is it Gen 1? Gen 1 car? Or? Uh, Gen 1 5, I think. Not 1, yeah. 1 1. Gen 1. Gen 1, the one with the, the weird uh, yeah. headlights. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was cool right. back then, you know. All right. Mercedes, 11, 11, yeah. Mercedes C200. All Mercedes right. ML, ML350. All right. Citroen, uh, the 2012 Citroen DS3, which was cool. Oh, that's a great cool car. car. Manual. manual, right? Manual. Yeah. Oh, yes. Proper uh, guy. Manual. All right. Okay. All right. And then my only brand new car I've ever bought in my life, a Honda Civic 1.5 turbo hatchback. It was when I was living in Thailand before I moved back to Malaysia. All right. All okay. right. VW Pol Polo GDI, B v BMW X3 diesel, which my wife drives, and then a 997 per. 18 cars. 18 cars. All right. Let's look at the chat. Okay, let's see who's the first one to say 18. First one, first come, first serve. Al uh, Daniel. Daniel? Alban. All right, Daniel, where are you? Where are you, Daniel? I don't see Daniel. Hold on, hold on. 18 cars. Ah, there you go. You got it. Wait. Uh, ah, is it Alban? Alban Daniel? Yeah. All right, Alban Daniel. Hey, is he, you, is you he, if he's, is he if even he's in, in Malaysia? 
I, I hope he's in Malaysia. Hey, Daniel, you just won a free drive with Josiah and one on one uh, coaching. Oh, on, no, we uh, got another training. one. I got an 18, I guess, 18. Before him? Before him? Ka yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanesan. Kan ah, Kanesan. Kanesan. Ah, Kanesan. He, he's definitely from Malaysia. He's in Bangsa. He's nearby. All right. So, oh, sweet. Yeah, Kanesan, you, you've won yourself a drive with uh, Josiah and a coffee one to one yeah. uh, with yeah. him. And any car you like, send it to me. Brother Thomas will clean everything inside. Make it smuggling oh, you again. That's pretty cool. All right. All right. All so right. Uh, if you want to claim your award, uh, Kanesan, you know me, right? You got my WhatsApp number. Just send me a WhatsApp. We'll arrange that soon. All right. Uh, well, after the MCO, when everything clears up. All right. <laughs> oh, ba ba Bobby only caught uh, for, uh, 17. What did he miss? Uh, he missed one. You caught 17? All right. Toyota Tercel, uh, Mitsubishi Mighty Max, Honda Civic, Coupe. Uh, you missed the SI, bro. You missed the Honda Civic SI. Yeah, yeah, he did. He missed, Bobby, you missed the Cause, SI. Because there's, there's, no, there's two Hondas. There's a Civic EX Coupe and SI Hatchback. Yeah. Number so three and number one. four. Yeah. 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 All go. right. So, Kanesan, congratulations, man. Woo! <laughs> All right. That was, that was a fun thing to do. That was fun. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, thanks, thanks, thanks for giving out the gift and uh, rolled out this whole whole thing. I, I do really enjoy cleaning interiors as well. And uh, Kenneson is one of my viewers who, who I met and became friends with as well. So, it's really cool. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, Very good. Very yeah, good. yeah, yeah. And he's, he's, he's looking at it. He's looking at 911 as well. He's uh he's driving a Merc. He's looking at 911. Oh, okay, so perfect, 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 perfect. Check so you out. get the, the experience 997 with you. Yeah. <laughs> so, moving on a little bit, I wanna I wanna go back to something you said about Mustangs. Yeah. yeah. Right. And uh, something that intrigues me because I I don't think I've ever experienced Mustangs because you know obviously we live in this side of the world and I studied in UK. I studied in uh, Switzerland. Um. When you say the new Mustangs, not real Mustangs, why would you say that? They're too refined, believe it or not. Like, um, okay, my wife uh, on our third date, I let her drive my Celine Parnelli Jones Mustang, which is like, okay, Celine is a proper manufacturer. It's I would it's, Celine's akin to a roof for those Porsche people or a Brabus. So yeah. they're they're like oh maybe not Brabus because Brabus aren't the manufacturers are they oh are they they are they are they are they are so basically they buy the the base car uh, uh, from Ford and then yeah. they do it up with their own everything new engine everything um, and then on the on the VIN uh, it's a Celine car it's a Celine Mustang it's not a Ford Mustang oh so it's yeah like Ram, isn't it? like Ram. yeah yeah so. Yeah, so so basically, I let her drive, and she's like, a real proper, like really makes you like feel alive. And then we went to Thailand, and her brother worked for a car dealer, and uh, she she you know she got a we got a chance to try a new one, and she's like, this is not this is a fake, this is not. And I'm like, I'm like laughing because she's not really a car person that much, although she can drive and she drives manual pretty well but yeah and then i was like yeah it doesn't have the same feeling it's it's too so, too it, um it's, it's 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 too refined and they just they they, they went into like a B, bmw kind of feeling three three series or is they went into the c-class territory where like it's just like it's a car it's a nice so, car, but it's so like not what, what did the new Mustang didn't have that the old Mustangs have? Like, uh, if you're more specific, is it the engine noise? Is it the yeah, the, the engine the noise? Yeah, the feedback, everything, the feeling, the the smell of the leather, smell of a you know the gasoline. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's it's just all of that. And, and the, the America, looks, and then oh, the and, then the, and then and then and then the, they they changed the suspension it was too modern, so the old. Um, old school Mustangs uh, pre two thousand seven or not seven pre two thousand twelve were solid rear axles. Yeah, it's just so that the rear would just like, rear wheel drive, so you can really like you know you can get tail heavy. Uh, whereas uh, the 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 newer ones were independent suspension. So you're much more easier to drive. Yeah. What what we yeah, say that? Yeah, modern, 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 but. 
it lost its it lost its core DNA. Hey. May, they they may they should have called it something different and just new model, right? What what do you think about the two point three uh, Mustangs? I you know what? There's one two point three in my car basement, and it's like mm. like my car is here, and it's the, it's the other side of the door to go into the elevator. I have never taken the time to go look at it up close. That's what I think of it. <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> it's normally you're gonna check out a car. It's like uh, you're a car guy. You're gonna go. You're gonna look in the mirror, in the window, and you can. Uh, check out how, how clean they, they keep uh, it, you know, it's like, uh, or, you know, uh, what, what interior color or whatever, you know, check out, you can, right? Yeah, you, we, we've all done this. Yeah, yeah, we've done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if it's in your building in it, that you live in. So I know every single Porsche 911 in my building. I'll go check it out. We've got a G, yeah. well, yeah, we got one G series, we got uh, three 997s, we've got, oh no, four, nine, four 997s, we had five, but one move. We have uh, one nine nine one, so yeah. I will check every single level of our. We have three or what four 2 .3? levels. Two point three. I I never even go near it. That's what I. <laughs> oh, oh, ouch! <laughs> <laughs> Man, I I've driven the two point three. Uh, it is frustrating. It is. Yeah. I've never driven a proper Mustang, but even as a car, it, it frustrates me. I mean, it's a powerful engine. It's just. It just feels weird. It just yeah. for me, it just didn't make me say like, "Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna part two hundred thousand ringgit with this car." It just didn't feel like that, you know. Well, you know, originally those those are made for like college students. Yeah, but those in America, like, it's common that college students drive uh, Mustangs. Oh yeah, in yeah. America, it's the equivalent of our Myvi. Are you kidding me? Mustangs. Yeah, no, it's, it's, yeah, no our, the two point three EcoBoost is meant for the same audience that my view over here is meant for is the you know minimum wage you know it's the entry oh, level car oh, it's like your first car it's you know so there you go and it gives you a v10 you know and uh <laughs> for entry level car <laughs> hey yeah it's your entry level car the 2.3 <laughs> eco boost <laughs> hey now previous a uh, big thing in us as well you know saving the world you know and stuff Hey, right? So, uh, uh, would it these, be the same these, price? These days, oh, okay, okay. Um, I think a EcoBoost would be like 20 something thousand, 22, 23, 24 thousand US. That's the cheap. Yeah, it's your, it's your entry. It's your, it's like your, that's like 80,000 ringgit. That's it's like, like your, a 16. Yeah, exactly. It's like your, your Honda City or, yeah. or, or Mazda 2. No, it's, no, it's like a Myvi over here. It's like an entry level. Oh, is this twenty six k? No, okay, okay. Oh, in US, or maybe okay. Pre COVID, twenty six k USD. You actually out the door twenty four, twenty five, twenty three. It's 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 that's it's it's really competitive there. So no one really pays book value. I mean, this is pre COVID. Nowadays, they are they're getting it because there's a shortage uh, of everything. You know, there's a bubble and everything, right? Cars, as they even roll over to secondhand markets. Um, so if they say 26K USD, a, a lot of people would have bought it for 24K, 23K, whatever. Wow. That's insane, yeah. man. College cars. So you, you yeah. think the 2.3 is to invite more of this uh, buyers in, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 think, yeah. I think I'm making way for the Asian market because smaller CCs tend to do well with road tax in, say, Malaysia and, yeah. you know, uh, um, China and, yeah. and stuff like that, isn't it? Yeah, but th those aren't real car guys. I mean, you buy a two point three, and you're you're just you're just all show and no go. You know. Oh. Sorry to say. Sorry to say. Oh. I hope oh, I didn't. In, I hope I didn't offend anyone. But no, I have I a think, high I think expectation. You're just, you're just sharing what because this is what I want to get because yeah. you've driven uh like the the, the Mustangs before and and yeah. just like you. Many people on the on the forums on the reviewers have said yeah. that the, the the they didn't like the new Mustang, even if it's a five right? Yeah. They didn't like it. They they felt it was yeah. I just I didn't. Yeah. I thought it was the GT five liter GT. Nah. The only thing that would excite me is uh, it's the special like it's uh, the the uh, the GT three fifty the the flat plane crank that can rev up to like freaking what eight north of eight thousand RPMs yeah and yeah. you it's amazing I, I would love to 
um, to drive that one day. Um, but unfortunately, they, they just stopped manufacturing them this year. Oh. This is the last year you can get one. Oh, interesting. So, uh. Yeah. But well, yeah, I I I I don't think it's like it's okay because look in 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 Evo Club we get to meet so many people, yeah. and everyone has their own opinion and uh, yeah. and if you listen close enough, there's something to learn from it, you know. Because look, I've never driven the old Mustang or, or a Mustang before this. I've driven the EcoBoost. Uh, I sat in the passenger side at the 5.0, you know, yeah. but but I never sit anything before that because it wasn't a thing. Like before the EcoBoost yeah. showed up. It wasn't a thing in Malaysia, you know, to have a Mustang, you know. But now yeah. it's everywhere. It's everywhere. The two point three. Yeah, you see a everywhere. few. You see a few. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of them. And then they, they put fake, fake, five point oh body badges. Yeah. Oh, oh, that kills me. Hey, you know they say uh, they make fun of this. Uh, no offense, guys. Guys, I, I can I can throw this joke because I'm from network marketing as well. Hey, it's yeah. a it's an entry level network marketing success car, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Hey, hey. I'll so, show and I'll go. <laughs> by the way, guys, uh, it's one hour, 15 minutes in. I hope you guys are having fun with us, oh, wow. uh, enjoying conversation. If you do, just show some love, send some emotions. If you're on Facebook, or hit the like button if you're on uh, YouTube, right? And if you want more content like this in the future, subscribe to my channel. Uh, you go on YouTube, search for Thomas Yap, all right? Oh, so, we, got uh, a, we got a good question. Oh, let's look at it. Knitted. Oh, what? Okay, yeah. okay. What do you think about the 67 Eleanor? There's one in Malaysia, right hand drive convert. What do you think about it? Yeah. Oh, those are sweet. I mean, obviously, uh, I, I, you know. What's uh, an Eleanor, I'm, though? I, I, don't, I don't quite know what it means. It's, uh, ah, is it like a, a name for the car or is it a tuna? No, no yeah, yeah. The, you, you never watched uh, Fast and Furious? Uh, I, well, I watched it, yeah. The Nicholas Cage it? and the Eleanor? Yeah, that's the Eleanor, the, the, the one that you push button and he, you know, he was. And in, in, in all the chase scenes and all that. Oh, so this oh, is Oh, that's the Eleanor. So that's a, it's, uh, it's, it's unofficial. I mean, it's a movie name for that specific setup of a car that now they, you know, a lot of tuners uh, in America and, and, you know, and even international tuners that have tried to recreate that and get and make big money out of selling the, you know, the fast furious so is it, is it uh, overrated or is it uh, or is it properly priced because it's been sold for one million one point something million isn't it oh the the oh the yes mm, no okay no um i don't i don't I, yeah i don't recall that one but i i know that a lot of them trying to get like six figures out of it for like a recreation of that car um ah there's hey. some that are really well done that that i would I, love I, to drive I actually did. I actually did saw it on uh, when I was driving one day. My spider. Oh, sorry, it's just gone. Gone in sixty seconds. It was <laughs> someone corrected me. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, it's gone in sixty seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I I saw it. Yeah. It's been it's sold for eight hundred eighty eight thousand ringgit. Oh, crazy! One crazy. of them. One of them. Do, do you think it's properly priced or overpriced? Yeah, yeah, overpriced, overpriced. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, it's a movie car, right? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so okay, so that's why I I I I um I confused. So I bought my Subaru WRX from a company that provided cars to the Fast and Furious franchise. Oh, okay, so my, my okay. Subaru was already done. Was supposed to be for a movie. I don't know if Fast and Furious or not, but they're a Hollywood. They they would they rented the cars to the studios. Oh. Uh, so did a Paul Walker would have driven that car. No, no, it didn't make it to the movie. That's why they, uh, I bought it. That's why oh, I sold it. But it okay, so okay. they were they were working on it, and then it just, for some reason didn't go through. It maybe not cool enough. I don't know. But I bought it because I it was a good deal. So, hey, if Paul yeah. Walker driven that car, it'd be a different price, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But eight hundred eighty-eight thousand, you think is overpriced, lah, for the Eleanor? Yeah, for sure. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Ah, uh, okay. But it's, it's probably worth. It's probably, in my opinion, it's probably worth one hundred fifty, two hundred thousand. What do you think? About, last question before we, we we go on to the last segment of the show. What yeah. do you think about Dodge Vipers? Because I never seen one in Malaysia. Uh, what do you think about Vipers? Because because it's those car. When you look at the specs, there's one thing I like about US, right? Yeah. That that this they they they. They just really go. They go big. Bonkers. They love to go they big. Go, they go yeah. big. They go like screw the balance. You know, yeah. screw like this. This I, is good. Big. It's like okay. 
it's like a a bodybuilder no offense yeah. um yeah. look good but then you go, you put the bodybuilder against a power lifter that's like half his size and power lifter will outperform him but but it's insane like the specs game you know like the hellcat oh, yeah that's right. right oh yeah yeah but they're all you know they're more show they, they got go. It's not like all show and no go, but it's more show than go. Mm. Got it. Like the, the Hellcats SRT uh, stuff, the street racing. Yeah, stuff. I, I do like those. I think there's a lot of character to them. They're, they're cool. They're cool. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm, I like to drive. I don't I don't like to drag race. <laughs> drag. I like I like I like twisty turns. Uh, so and like your posture, for example. Yeah. yeah yeah so um let me ask you a question like like what um but before we go on to to do where's my car i know every we you know every car guy i like to play this game with them what are your three dream let, let's say okay you call, i call it the three dream car garage game right we talk about um if you have unlimited money in the world but you only have three cars in the garage you you, you cannot own any more than three cars right you got family you got to figure all that out what are the three cars you would own, right? And ask this question because because it shows a lot about how you think about cars. Like you say, like you you're more of a yeah. twisty twisty road guy and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah. so would you let go of a, a special car like a Celine for something else, right? So so what are your three cars? Because I know you like uh, the Celine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, three cars. Uh, Celine wouldn't wouldn't even be even close to that. Oh. That's my re- it's like my realistic car. Right? I could get it for like freaking twenty six thousand US. Come on, all right, all right. Um, so if if, yeah. if money was no object, so yeah, then, yeah. then we're then, then we're talking. In the comments below. What do you think about what is your dream three dream cars? Right. No, but we so we're that- talking about um, you know limited edition exclu- hyper cars there, right? So I'm gonna have to have a I- hyper car. So I think one of the hybrid cars, since I have a family, yeah. what's that one that's um, the four-seater now? It's a fairly Koenigsegg? new one. Yes. Koenigsegg, uh, Kim, what, Kim, some, start with the, what was it called? Uh, uh, Koenigsegg. Uh, it just uh, came uh, out. Camera. 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 Yeah. I would, I would take that one. That would be my, you know, because uh, I can... I can, you know, I can share my passion with my family. And I got <laughs> my, two, my two kids hey, and the wife. Let's go, Boom. Let's go get some coffee in, uh, in my yeah. colleagues. <laughs> yeah, exactly, hey, right? Let's go to the grocery to get a... Uh, oh, yeah, it's get get, some, Gamera, uh, Gamera with a G. Gamera. Bottom yeah, thing, Gamera, yeah, thing, Gamera, Gamera, yeah. Let's, yeah. Go, let's go get some yeah. croissant in uh, the Gamera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Um, of course, I love... I, I'm a Porsche guy, so I'll have, a, I'll have one Porsche. So, um, wow, uh, probably, oh man, any, any, any of them. Well, obviously it's going to be a GT2, right? GT2 RS? Yeah. No, <laughs> actually, uh, you know, the, 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 there's been a, there a lot of, even though I don't quite like them that much, the look, I, I, I'll, it'll grow on me. The newest GT3, I think, would be. Oh, a, the newest GT3, the 991, 992, yeah. yeah. 992, okay. yeah, because, yeah. Um, and then um, I'll probably need an SUV. Just yeah. again, you know, I've got a you know, big, kind of growing family. Um, so I, I, I would get probably the, um, the, the AMG G, G Wagon. And, and I'll tell you the why. G Wagon. Because my, my wife wants one. So I have to think about her. You know? <laughs> happy wife, happy life, go. right? That's it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so that'll be that'll probably my 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 three. If G, money was no sixty three, yeah. yeah, it'll be a sixty three. Right. You know, so so you know, I've checked all the boxes. I've got two family cars, <laughs> two Ninja Camaro as a family car. <laughs> hey, don't 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 laugh. My my nine nine seven was a family car for a couple months because that was my only car when my baby was born. I bought it. I bought it in October and my baby was born in December. And people are my 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 buddies are like shaking their head, you idiot. Why are you <laughs> buying a 9911 as your only car? You got a baby, you dumbass. 
And, you know, everyone, call, everyone calling me out on it. And you know what? You know what? I proved uh, them wrong. Okay. Because my wife is like Thai. So, so she, we have to do, before we had to do uh, runs to the uh, chopper passport at the Thai border. So we did it in the 997, baby seat in the back. She in the back too, and because she had to breastfeed, right? Because it's only month, month, two months old, one or two yeah. months old, and the stroller in the front, okay, and then diaper oh. bags, everything. So hey, legit family car. So to all my buddies, hey, you guys are thinking about getting a family car. You got a baby. Get a nine nine seven. Get a nine one one. Okay, long term. Okay, long term, it wouldn't work, obviously, because. You know, you have to scrunch up in there. I mean, it's not practical. It can do. Um, then I had to get a, a X, X3 diesel for <laughs> to be my practical side came back. But look, you know why I bought knowing that my baby is coming is because I knew if I didn't buy that car before the baby came, I would, I would, it would take me 18 years to buy a 911. Because you're gonna, there's always gonna be an excuse. You got a baby kid. When you have a kid, it's like, oh man, you can't. You can't buy the car, but if you buy it before the baby comes, it's like, well, I already have it. You know, I'm not going to, what, what do you expect me to sell it? <laughs> hey, you, you got a good deal as well, man. Underused car. I did. I did. Right? I, did. I got car, a great price. screaming deal. Screaming yeah. deal. Less than yeah. a Honda, uh, Honda uh, Accord, less than a Toyota Camry. Oh, man. It's, uh, and it's a, it's a good looking one, white color. And uh, I call it, I call it vanilla. You call it vanilla ice. <laughs> You, you call it vanilla. Yeah, you you and then you call it vanilla ice because it looks white. It's 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 yeah. base pack, no more. It's, it's a nothing. Base, nothing. It's a spec, hey. as base as it gets. But what they say, you know, is a some say, oh, it's a tiptronic, it's a base pack, but no, it's uh the driver's more important, right? <laughs> I, I love it. I love it. You know what? I I've I've driven it through MCO, everything. I've driven, I've put out over 30,000 k on it. And just, just didn't want to like. It's hard to replace it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. It's your first nine eleven. It's your first nine eleven. It's my first. It is my first nine eleven. You know what they yeah. say? When you join Zuffenhausen, you're never gonna leave Zuffenhausen. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I agree with that. Yeah, they're really well built cars, right? Very yeah. well. I, well, thanks yeah, for joining. Your... Yeah. Thirty what? Is. Thirty what? Yeah, you, know, you, you'll, 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 um, it's so reliable. Yeah, for you know, a sports for, car, for, right? For for how old it is. You know, it's it's like I, I've had like one thing go wrong. I had to replace the driver's side locking mechan mechanism. It's like six hundred ringgit. It. It's a big Mine deal. So my yeah. year, my year, my yearly, um, uh, what do you call it? my ten k service is six hundred and fifty ringgit. Wow, it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. And and you you it's drive bad. it hard, and, and it's a workhorse. It goes around a lot. Yeah, yeah it you, does. You pick it up to Sepang. You go back and forth. Yeah. Yeah, I used, yeah, I, you know. Ah, oh, 997, oh. there you go. Yeah. Right, let's take a look at the, uh, thanks for sharing your three cars garage with us. Yes. Let's look at uh, some of our guests, All right? Toto, hey, so coincidentally, Toto, right? Toto runs uh, the uh, AMG yeah. uh, F1 team. All right. It does. S-Class <laughs> Coupe, DBS Super Legara. Oh, uh, yeah. DBS. Oh, and then, uh, the Estate. Oh, oh, those are rare. Beautiful. The those E63 is brutal, man. The way it revs and the way it pulls is brutal. That car is brutal. I, have, I haven't seen an estate. No, uh, not in Malaysia. Estate in Malaysia. Malaysia. There's an E43 estate. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think nothing as brutal as a 63, you know, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Joseph, which is uh, one of our friends in uh, our in Evo. Uh, he has, uh, he's looking at Ferrari Dino. <laughs> wow. A 246 right. GT. Uh, wow. Wow. Hey, you recently said you like one of the old Ferraris, right? Is that the three, yeah, four, 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 six? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's a that's a good looking car. Yeah, some people might disagree. Oh, I think it's a good looking car. It's understated, and it's for it, it seats four. So again, yeah. thinking about the family, and they're like they're like forty thousand, forty fifty thousand US. They're like under two hundred thousand ringgit. Yeah, yeah, definitely something but to look out for. No, but they're 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 and they and then they they come in manual the gate the gate shift the gate manual. manual. Hey, we have a five five zero over here. That's gated manual as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and you're right next to your car park. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful, car spot. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Five five zero. 
It's long. Okay. It's a long car. Yeah. A Lexus LX five seven zero. All right, and a, Mo- a Ford Mustang Bullet. Oh yeah! Oh, the the nineteen. Uh, you'd want you'd like mine better. The the oh seven bullets. All right, because the new ones are not real Mustangs. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Bikash, oh Bikash. All right, uh, La Ferrari Apetta. Oh my God, that's insane. Uh, All right, uh, Ferrari GDC for Lusso, uh-huh. and of course he's you know, this guy's a Ferrari guy. Yes, this family. This guy's like a that. Ferrari guy. He reviews many cars, but he he has lots of Ferraris on his channel as uh-huh. well. Because yeah. nice guy, I he re, he did a TikTok on my spider. Yeah, nice guy. Nice. Yeah, right. uh, you know Harish Kumaran Carrera GT, epic car. All right, Audi yeah. RS5 ABT Brabus G wagon. Not just any yeah. G wagon, a Brabus. <laughs> a Brabus one. I, I think that's overkill. I mean, it's just so over the top. Hey man, hey man. You know if you wanna, you know it's uh you wanna go, you go all the way, right? Go all the way. <laughs> E sixty three LFA, man, yeah. LFAs, man. The, the way the engine sounds is mad. Yeah, yeah, they got good F1 reviews, car. huh? Got it's a, like a freaking F one car. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, three dream cars from Bob. Oh, we know from the last. Ep- hey, those are your cars that you have, man. <laughs> <laughs> so dream, so three dream car garage. That's All right, Jensen. It. Yeah. Lamborghini Diablo. Diablo. Oh, oh my wow. god. Oh, I love so, Diablo. Well, hopefully he knows how to fix them. <laughs> well, you be you be calling the Diablo a lot when you when it's broken down, you be cursing the devil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, Porsche 997 GD3 RS. Oh, that's nice. really rare. Really yeah, rare. Yeah. And Nissan Pao. And Nissan Pao is such a cute car. It's like a mini Cooper, but it's cuter. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. Derek, all right, W212, Cabriolet, a Mark X. Ah, that's a nice car. Yeah. I think I can do drifts and a Sephiro 2.5. Nice, nice. Was, yeah. That's an interesting two, yeah. two Japanese and then a, a Merc. Yeah, it's obviously a, a Japanese yeah. lover. Do you yeah. have Mark X in the US uh, back then? Uh, no, they don't. No, no, oh, Mark X okay. only, only a Japan's. Uh, if if you have it in your country, then it's like uh, import, it's a uh, recon. Yeah, we have a couple of Mark X, Mark, Mark X in Malaysia. A couple of friends drift them cars. They're they're not bad. No, but with. yeah, okay, but they're they're all uh, secondary recon, right? They're not. They Toyota didn't bring it in. No, no, did they? Yeah. No, no, no. All right, we talk about cars a lot. Thanks for sharing about that. Uh, we're all reaching right. an hour and a half, man. Man, you. It, every time we do Top Gear, it's like we aim for an hour and just stretches. <laughs> 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 Never gonna happen in an hour, right? You know what? We're in, uh, we're in MCO anyway, so n- no one has anything better to do. <laughs> Wait, Bobby now changes that. Rolls Royce, Cullinan, Bentley, Bentayga, and G Mercedes G wagon. Yeah, ah. I I might have changed my okay. I'm okay. Am I allowed to change? I'll change the Rolls Royce Cullinan from my G wagon. Oh. Yeah, because I I sat in one. It's you know it's pretty cool. Hey, it's so it's Rolls-Royce. so big. Good luck getting a park, finding a parking spot anywhere. It's like a, it's like a moving palace. It's so huge. <laughs> yeah, you you park next to other SUVs, make the SUVs yeah. look like uh, like wagons. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I I, I swear, man, every time I look at the Jew, uh, uh, uh is like whoa, like, like. No, it's huge. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, I sat. I, I went to. I, yeah, I sat in one at uh, at NASA, and I'm like, oh my god, it's insane. Oh, it's cool. Well, there's a Cullinan. That's a yeah. Cullinan. All yeah. right, all right. So we're gonna play a quick game before we end. As every time, first of all, thank you so much for for joining us today, uh, Josiah. And every time we play Talk Gear, we are going to play. Dude, where's my car? All right, so. Thanks so much for joining. And, and guys, feel free to join in this game. Those of you who are first time watching Talk Gear, Dude, Where's My Car is... What we're going to do is we're going to oh, uh, put out two cars. And uh, me and Josiah are going to pick out... My guests are going to pick out... Yeah, Simon did that great effect over there. <laughs> <laughs> so... I like um, your face. Uh, I'm, 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 today, I'm Aston Kutcher, right? So... Uh, we're going to put out two cars and then my guests get to choose and then we're going to choose why, all right? And you get to choose as well. Let us know in the comments below what car do you choose, okay? So, ready to play this game, Josiah? Yep. 
I'm ready. It took me a week. It took me a week to to pick these cars because I like to stress my guests out. You know. <laughs> all luck. right. Let's Good go. luck. Good luck. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. First. First pick. All right. Now let's go for hashbacks. What what car could this be? It's 180 horsepowers. Hey, Marth. The uh, have, have you ever seen the car yet? Right. Seven I'm seconds. Zero to 107 seconds. It's it's just slightly over a ton. Would you get yeah. this? Or would you get another hatchback, right? Because we all love hatchbacks. This is another one. I love one. hatchback. I really love it. 200, 200 horsepowers, right? But slightly yeah. heavier, 6.9 seconds. That looks right. like a, a French one. France. Oh, boy, really good, huh? Really good, huh? All right. So, uh, so uh, Italian versus France. Ah, yes, you got it right. Car A ah, is... I got it. Ah, the first car is an Abaf. Of course. All right. Would you pick an Abaf, a 2012 uh, Fiat Abaf? Or would you pick, well, it's an Abaf, not really a Fiat, but a, a, a Renault Clio RS 2006. Oh, oh I wanted both oh. of them. I've, I've, yeah. I know you like both of these cars. I know you love it. Who should know, you pick? I know. Both are manuals. Uh, I, are, just, I, are I, raw, I, raw I, I just test drove a Abaf. Someone wanted, uh, how much do they want for it? Uh? 80,000? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, and um, I, I thought it was a little bit. Uh, it was quite old. I thought it was a little bit high. I offered them sixty. I think. <laughs> of course, they oh, never what got is, back. What is it? No, <laughs> no, they never got back to me. <laughs> but it was a manual. Um, that's a okay. So it will have to depend on what version. So if it's, it's a six nine five Ferrari version versus a. Uh, okay, okay, if it's a 2000, oh, I'll pick the Abarth over the Clio RS 06. If it's a 2010 or 11, like a Red Bull edition, then I would have to pick the Clio over the Abarth. Get it? With a 2012 Abarth. Yeah. yeah, so 2012 Abarth, but it could be a 695, it could be a Ferrari. It's a, I think this one's a Ferrari edition. Uh huh. Looks, looks like it. So I'll, I'll okay. And then this one's the 06. So I will I'll pick the the above of that. Right. Yeah. You pick the above? Really? Yeah. Yes. 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 Why? Yes, yes. Um. Well, because um, that one's kind of like the vanilla Clio. Um. Well, I, I, I okay. The Clios that I want are the limited edition, like the Red Bull one or the Angel and Devil one, or you know. They're uh -huh. like 2011, 2012 with the updated heads, headlight. I don't like those headlights. Oh, it makes it different. Okay. And, and they don't have the Recaro seats in them. Hmm. I know my hatchbacks, man. Oh, you, you, you certainly do. I didn't know that much yeah. as well. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at the chat. So, so Josiah picks the above. Let's look over yeah. here. We have uh, Austin says the Italian Pikachu. Nitin says the above. Uh, Aust uh, so Clue RS. Hey, Willy Tay. Bami, Harish, QRS. Yeah, see, Bob, Bobby agrees with me. It's not this one. It, you, you picked the wrong one. You had to go 2012 versus a 2012. Then I would have gone to QRS. But, ah, ah. That's too, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Well, you know what? I do, I do like the above as well because it's a... Uh, no, it's 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 another Bangsa car, and you can and you can it's still take it to Gunning Highlands. Yeah, and you yeah. can take it to Gunning Highlands. You can take it to Uyam, yeah. and it will yeah. keep up with many cars, and it will give you the thrills. And just look at that, man! It's that, it, the, the the silhouette is so cool. iconic. It's so cool. It's iconic. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's and iconic. it's and it's the Ferrari edition. You know, it's a six yep. nine five. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I, I, regardless, if it's a Ferrari or not version, or not, I'll still pick the above because it looks so darn cute. Although yeah. you'll be fixing stupid parts all day long when you own it, you'll, you'll, you'll the seatbelt thing will break, the radio knob would break, the the the, hey, the, the door handle what? will break. Italian, hey, right? CL, CL who owns a, a beautiful Alfa Romeo GTV, he says this car's got character, man. You gotta learn it. Yeah. You gotta be patient with it. You know. <laughs> 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 okay, so for this this uh this first choice of uh do where's my car, me and Josiah picks the Fiat above. All right, so cool. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, thanks for joining us. We're going to the next one. Okay, now this one's gonna be a little bit tough. I'm gonna I I'm pretty sure it's gonna be tough. The next one, okay. Car A hashback as well. 
six speed manual, 275 uh brake horsepowers, 350 newton meters of top. Lightweight, well, not super lightweight, but light lighter than most modern modern hatchback, right? Turbocharged, all right, 6.1. Okay, Carby. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, less power, six speed manual, rear wheel drive. All right, zero to hundred. We still don't know. We suspect around six seconds. Okay, I I didn't put it in. Sorry about that. But thirteen hundred kilograms lighter. Mm -hmm. Okay, just looking at the specs right now. Okay, yeah, you stumped me on this. Both of them, you stumped me. I got the both first ones right, and then these ones, I. I, I this one could be like a. Uh, okay, let me know the, the, B, the what, what? BRZ. I don't know. No, no but 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 no. just looking at the specs. Before it's not the final say, but looking at the specs, mm. which one would you pick? A hatchback that's six speed manual is powerful, or would you go for a less powered uh, coupe rear wheel drive car? Uh, <laughs> no, it's, it's gotta. I, I gotta know the car, man. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Let's uh, let's let's, let's uh, see what the car A is. That's cheating. Car A is a Korean a Hyundai i thirty N. Oh man, that's the car I got called out on uh, on in, in our group <laughs> for being elitist. Well, let's just say that maybe that's one of the someone maybe, called me maybe... an elitist. Oh really? Oh. Yeah, because I because we were talking about it in our WhatsApp group, and then I said, well. You know, I just don't see the value in in, in paying what two hundred something thousand it's for a, a Hyundai. It's a well built <laughs> car, isn't it? It's a well built. Well, car we don't we, we don't know we don't know how well built it is until five years later. <laughs> well, they they yet to prove themselves, I guess. But, yeah, exactly. Uh, well, a Hyundai one thirty N, I thirty N, right? Yeah. Or the other one. The up and coming Subaru BRZ. Uh, I'll go with the Hyundai. Hey, you really? Yeah. Why? I've never liked BRZs or BRZs. Why? Oh, I know. I always, I, I always think of it as a college student's car. Oh, I mean, for some okay. reason. He's in no, US. I, that's you know. Yeah, and it, yeah, I just feel like I've been in one and I, I was like, oh, this is like underwhelming. I didn't, okay, that's not the to say it's one. not a great, yeah, an older one. Um, it's not to say that's it's not a great, great driver, but I just felt underwhelmed being in the car. And I know the Hyundai i30, I've seen photos, it, you would feel, I mean, it's, it looks good. And I like that color and I like hatchbacks. Mm -hmm. All right. So, okay. Fair point. Fair point. Let's just yeah. look at the chat. What what people say. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, uh, Hyundai Bobby. says. Bobby says i thirty n. Come on, Bobby. How can you say i thirty n? Yeah. Come on, Jensen. Uh, 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 hey, Jensen. Come on. All right. I thirty n. I thirty n. Subaru BRZ. It's about 50, 50. Hey. It's about it's about fifty fifty. No, it's leaning towards i thirty n. You know why too? I've. I've got I've got the nine nine seven, so I've already got the same platform. A coupe, a, 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 a coupe a, rear coupe, wheel drive. Oscar. So it's like I I, I hey. do want. Yeah. Bobby says you're no longer elitist. Ah, <laughs> thank you. I, Bobby, you, you pick know. the BRZ. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. Ah, uh, a rear wheel drive. Okay, we're so we're so we're split. I'm, but okay, you got to see my my particular circumstance why I'm going to choose it because I already have we have a coupe, a real right? drive coupe. Yeah, exactly. So why do I, I do, need? A, I do love hatchbacks. Another I one. do. I do have a. I do really like modern hatchbacks. If I ever do want to get one, it's either a Golf R if I want something to be comfortable, or a Megane yeah. RS two eighty or RS three hundred. You know, because those I cars are gone. crazy. Yeah, I I, if I want something crazy, I go for the Megane. I want something more like dateable, yeah. I'll go for a, a Golf R. But I, I'll probably go for the Megane. This it's, it's manual, like not even a question. Yeah. Uh, but but uh, Subaru BRZ because uh, uh, I've driven the the first gen. I'm not sure how the second gen is, but I've driven the first gen. I'll pick it because it's still it's a drift machine. I like I like oversteering rear wheel drive car, front engine rear wheel drive. Just have such a beautiful sensation when you can drift them. Um, yeah. that's just my pick because I just like I'm rear wheel drive. Uh, 
it, yeah. it looks like a it looks like the first gen anyway other than a little bit of tweaking they did on the front i mean it just you can tell yeah from from yeah. this photo anyway uh-huh well it, it's it's not a huge improvement in the, in the looks yeah. department it's like know, nine it's sure. like a nine nine it's like a nine nine one nine nine seven or nine nine one it's yeah it's an entry-level sports car it's an entry-level yeah. sports car yeah where yeah. whereas the whereas the i30n is premium hatchback ah, ah premium but why you want to be the feet. you want to be the big fish in a small pond or the little fish in a big ocean boo boo oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> hey! I guess in the Hyundai i30n, if you're in the hands of good driver, you can still keep up with some, keep up with some of the Type R's, you know. You know. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, probably, probably. Yeah. Okay, so in this uh, segment of that was uh, easy. Come on, give me a hard one. Come on. Okay, okay, I'll give you a hard one. Last one. Go one, more, one more round to go. All right, for this one, me and uh, me and Josiah has uh, have different opinions. All right. Okay, let's move to the last one. Now, we all like supercars, right? We all have got to have a supercar in a garage, something that's extreme. So this is a 3.8 twin turbocharged, 720 horsepower, 940 newton minutes of torque. Hey, 0 to 100 in 2.8 seconds, right? Right? Oh, would you get another one? This one. Carby. Naturally aspirated. But also Porsche. 700 plus horsepower. Porsche Man. versus Ferrari. Ooh, that's oh! an easy one. Hey. Come on. Okay, what what Porsche? What which Porsche? Oh, uh, that's the that's the that'll be GT two, obviously. Really? Yeah, of course, right? Okay, we go back again. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, twin turn. Yeah, no, that's just that's oh seven twenty horsepower. That'd be G. G. Uh, All right, let's hmm. let's look at it right now. Okay, what is it? Car A. What's car A? Let's look yeah. at it. Are you? Oh, it's a roof. Okay, yeah, it's a roof. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is a 997. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I was gonna guess that next after I did a GT2. All hey, Vikash, right. of course you know what car it is, man. Come on, you're a Ferrari fan. <laughs> okay, roof. Yeah. Or. Yeah, come on, you know Ferrari eight one two super fast. Super fast. Oh, easy for me. Roof any day of the week. Why? Because I'm a Porsche guy. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and I'm a tight ass. I want to keep as much money to myself as possible and not give the government uh, road tax. So I'm always going you know, to like, yeah, no, like what's, what's the road tax going to be too? I'm, I'm, I'm always thinking like that. Hey, you know, the, you know the, roof, yeah. the roof is uh, a super fast. I, I'm, yeah. I, I, I might be wrong on this one. Please correct me if I'm wrong. A super fast yeah. something you can you can keep ordering from Ferrari if as long as they have slots they keep building it, but the yeah. roof, it's a different limited, story. Limited edition. I don't think there's too many of them. And it's not manufactured scarcity. It's yeah. because they, they that's how much they can manufacture. That's it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So I, 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 how much are how much are uh, how much are they? Okay, price wise, what are we? Oh, talking they're, they're they're probably in the same price range. Similar they're price range. range. I think yeah. US dollars three hundred eighty yeah. for the for super yeah. fast. I really have plus, there as well. Plus, yeah. I, I also want, I also don't want to be a prick. Don't want, you know, I care a little bit, care about my, yeah, my, my branding, my image. You know, I pull out a super fast, everyone, oh, who's this fucking prick? Sorry. I'm not allowed to say, who is this prick? You know, and the roof is like, ooh, you know, the car guys will go, ooh, legit. Who's this guy? Hey. I'll, 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 I'll meet a lot more datos. In the roof than the Ferrari, I think the cool ones well, anyway. The 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 super see it's interesting because the RUF is so much more raw and yeah. it's a uh, older technology, yeah. right? But yet you choose that above a newer, uh, a modern supercar. Yeah, right. Well, you know my personality, so. Ah, uh, a Porsche guy, right? Porsche guy, I get it. And I like uh, old school. I'm I'm a little bit old school. I hate all the new, all the tech. Get, I like the yeah. analog. Uh -huh. I, I get you, man. Totally get you. Well, let's look, most, let's everyone look here, most everyone's chose the super fast, of course. All right, let's look over here. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Uh, Falali, okay. All right. Yes, Jensen. Yeah. All right. I guess mostly you here. don't like, don't mind looking like pricks. <laughs> 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 Joseph doesn't mind being the Ferrari. Hey. 
not all Ferrari guys are, are, are pricks, okay? But but they they do they do show they do have that connotation sometimes. So general, but you're not general, you're general not approachable. Player. If you if you step out of, of of a super fast or you step out of a roof, you, you're gonna be a lot more approachable. You step out of a roof and look. I, I, Part of the reason I'm a car guy too, or you know, part of the reason why uh, the, the benefit is is meeting, is networking too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I wouldn't have met you if I I, I didn't join Evo Club, right? Same here. I didn't yeah. I didn't, I didn't uh, meet uh, Alex, and Alex will introduce me to to you, right? Yeah. Yeah, and by the way, even sign up for Evo Club and uh, get notified for future events. Of course, we can't travel right now. This MCO club.evomalaysia.com sign up to be a club as well and get invited for future events all right yeah so yeah uh yeah it's a part of networking isn't it so you, yeah, you think is, the RU app gives you a better networking and you're, you're absolutely right because you know like yeah. you show you go out to a car meet right and then uh there's there's, there's a ferrari super fast there's a 458 and then here comes a freaking roof right yeah. and 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 like what Bobby said in the last top gear, right? People may go and admire the super fast and the 458 and 48, whatever, right? Or, or F8 yeah. P style, right? But the proper car guys, the guys who drive the super fast, is gonna go over to your roof. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and you know what? You you're gonna see other super fast in Malaysia. You're probably not gonna see this roof. I, I don't know. I, I doubt it. Oh, we you, saw you, a roof you, in I, I got to see a roof not, in this book. Yeah. Not the RT twelve R, not this one, probably. My R, guess. My R. guess is you're gonna be it's it's gonna be exclusive. Yeah, you know? super, super so exclusive. so it will hold its value better. Not not to mention your road tax is gonna be yeah, it's not too too cheap, but it's not too expensive. It's gonna be six K. The super pole, fast, how much are you gonna pay for a super fast road tax? <laughs> I don't wanna count six point five. <laughs> well, okay, what what will you pay? Just honestly, I don't know. Tell Anyone let us know in the comments for for, for six point two, uh, six point five. I'm super I'm, ge I'm guessing twenty k. Twenty five, probably twenty five. Yeah. 25. Let's know in the comments. Yeah. All right, let's be over here. All right. Before we, yeah. we let's continue on and see what people pick. All right. Uh, of course, Vikash will pick a Ferrari. Uh, Derek will choose the the Ferrari. A lot of Ferrari guys, yeah. And a lot Bobby of rich guys here that can give money to the, the to our uh, JPJ, huh? Hey, just it's just a segment of dude, where's my car, right? Hey, maybe if you own it somewhere else, you know, not Malaysia uh, probably. Seventeen thousand eight hundred and eighty. Yeah. Uh, That's a road tax every year. Deep. Okay. All right. Where you? Ah, someone's gonna come up to you and say, "Where'd you get your body kit for the Carrera?" <laughs> <laughs> then, but you hey, know what? You filter also, them out. You filter them out. You go, okay, not a real car guy. Go away. <laughs> 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 Elite is there. <laughs> all right, all right. Seventeen eight k. Kidding me? Uh, it's crazy. It would be four million. All right. Yeah. Four million. Freaking four million. Jeez. Jeez. And and that's a that's yeah. a that's a hefty price. How much and is it super fast? Uh super fast before tax. I think is one point eight. I think. So it'll oh, come out pretty close. Pretty close. Oh pretty yeah. Close. yeah. Yeah. If I'm not yeah, mistaken. Okay. I think, yeah. In in ten years time, how much will, be, will both of them be? What which one is more likely to hold its value or gain in value? Now? <laughs> hey, check out what uh what uh what Bobby said. Driving a roof daily, be like, it's a roof, not a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he got it right. It's a roof. Yeah, uh, oh, six six months later is eighteen thousand ringgit per year. All right, pretty close. Yeah, yeah. Seventeen eight. Hey, if you can afford a Ferrari at uh at that price, eighteen eighteen thousand ringgit is nothing. All right. Uh, yeah, but well, well, rich people or wealthy people usually yeah. pay attention to the the small money. You you know the saying right? Well, watch your watch your sense. Uh, and and you'll create the dollars or something like that, right? Uh, oh yeah. And the dollars will take care of themselves. Oh, the the, the uh, don't be the the what uh, uh pound foolish and penny wise. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay. But uh, will appreciate know, over it, time. This, this is says, tough for me true. because I I do I do like a sports car that uh that can do both that can drive really like hard and then can be of very good comfort or decent comfort. You know, like the spider. Spider does both very well, you know. 
Yeah. And, uh, and, a, and a super fast would definitely fit in that category, although it's huge, you know, because it's, it's, it's massive. But uh, I'm a Porsche fanboy. You know, if you have a, you have a you have roof in a garage, you tell your car friends like, hey, come over to have a, a beer or wine. Legit come baller. Uh, they, they, will come, they will come from Malacca, man, to come hang out yeah. with you, right? They'll come yeah. <laughs> to take a look at your roof, right? Yeah. yeah. So, 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 so which one did you pick? You pick the roof? I'll, I like the Ferrari, but I'll pick the roof because it's such oh. an epic car. Such there an epic go. piece of engineering. Like, yeah. like, what the heck, man? Like, like, who would build something as crazy as that? Yeah. And, and not to mention, they have some pretty sick liveries as well. You know, the roof have pretty sick body, body like the, the way it looks like. This is one of the ones I really like. Yeah, yeah same here. It's classy. Yeah. Classy. Yeah, and, and, and yeah, you probably put up with people who, who says, uh, hey, where do you get your body kit from, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, you, you know, they won't be able to say it because they'll be in so far in the rearview mirror. <laughs> dust their ass. Say, so, oh, really? <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh. Hey, where'd you get the tuning from, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> where'd you tune your car? <laughs> All right, so for this All segment, right. the last one over here. Is uh both me and Josiah picks the roof RT twelve R, or any any RT twelve would be great. Even if it's an S or, or base RT twelve, it, it would be great. You but didn't I'll, stop I'll, me yeah. though. It didn't stop you. The super fast didn't stop you. No, you didn't stump me on the three choices. It was an easy pick uh, for me. Really? Uh, yeah. Really? I, I I thought it would stop you. You know, especially number two. You know, being a a Hyundai and a, and a, and a, and a VRZ. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it didn't. It did. It's it's pretty clear cut for uh, the first one. Would it be the? I had to think about it a little bit. Uh -huh. Then then I then I went down to like okay, well that's a 06. I don't want the 06 one, so they're easy. A bar. Okay, okay. Well, it took me. You would have stumped me if you. It would have stumped me if it was a Red Bull Edition 2012. Oh. Mm. Mm. Well, I guess I I should I should have. Uh, I should have uh, spoken to you more about uh, about your love for Abaf now. Find out which one will stop you. Like last yeah, week, yeah, yeah. I, I knew yeah, Bobby yeah. loved he loved the Delta, you know the Lancia Delta. So, oh, so that, yeah. one, that one, that one, I knew he loved it. I knew he loved oh. the Targas, the Singers. Yeah, if you if you, you got know. into the the special edition, uh, or like uh, the one okay, I I, I test drove one at NASA that it was uh, it had the dog the the dog leg gear, gear box. And it had the the uh, plastic uh, windows. It's like the race mm -hmm. version of the Abarth. Yeah. yeah, yeah, those are pretty cool. It's like uh, one of two in Malaysia. It's it's like for grand? the rate. Uh, yeah, they were asking three hundred grand. They would have let it go for like two twenty. Um, and and uh, Alex, Alex, Alex was interested in getting it, and so was <laughs> I. But uh, uh, no air conditioning. For no above. air condition, no no stereo. It's like track car. It's an SIC car, right? Yeah, it's, it's a proper track car, yeah. But but for but the, the but dog the, the dog gearbox is gnarly. But it's a it's a it's a very big circuit for such a small car. That's the problem with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's true. You have yeah, to go on a go kart track. Oh uh, yeah, or, or different circuits. For this circuit, it's it's tough. Yeah. It's tough to to drive yeah. the above because it's so small and yeah. kind of underpowered yeah. for that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yes, Nitin is the disco, the disco Volante as well. There's Bobby's, Bobby's one of his favorite cars as well. All right. Uh, our, uh, if it's Biposto, that's what it's called. It's called a Biposto, a 695, a Biposto. A Biposto. A Biposto. <laughs> a Biposto. <laughs> so cute. Love it. Our boss, man. Like, you, it's, it's, I know you love it or hate it. I don't have a big love for Abaf, you know, yeah. but... Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of above. But but the mini and then I have a big fan of minis. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So wow, two hours. You predicted it right. Ooh. You sent me a text yesterday. It's like it's gonna be a fun yeah. two hours. I'm like, nah, it's yeah. not gonna be two hours. It's two hours already. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We got 50 plus All people right. watching. You know, thanks Lama for, Hari for Raya, with us. everyone. Lama Raya. And uh yeah, thanks for hanging out with us. If you guys enjoyed this, uh please subscribe to my channel at uh YouTube, Thomas Yap, more top gear coming in the future. Uh, do subscribe to Evo Club, uh, club.evomalaysia.com. Let's drop it on the chat over there. Uh, if you want to sign up for future events, uh, do register. And, and also, the cool thing about the, uh, the club, evomalaysia.com, you get to register your dream cars. All right? 
Talk about goal setting. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna put setting. your dream car. It's goal yeah. setting, right? Yeah. I, I put mine in there as well. Uh of course there's a there's an air cooled Porsche in there. <laughs> air cooled Porsche. So 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 one of the cars I want to work towards too. Getting a, a nice air cooled Targa. Yeah. yeah. You only need yep. 300 something K. Yeah, only. it's it's only Cash. 300 K, yeah. Cash. It's only I'm money. Not, it's only money. I I I I just don't have enough garage space. <laughs> That's true. I don't know. Let go. Let go of the E thirty or let go of the mini for that one. You'll let go of the E thirty for that one. I think. Oh man, we'll we'll, we'll figure it out. And I want to restore W one two three as well. So we'll. Now someone if someone asked way. what will be my next car, I've been thinking about that. Oh yeah, yeah. Last question. What will be next? Could be a nice one. Yeah, yeah. What's the next car? I'm trying. I'm trying to research. Um, nine nine three. No, 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 no. I, I, I you, only because nine nine three. You can't really daily it because if you're stuck in a jam, you're kind of screwed. And then most nine nine threes for sale aren't manual. I want a manual. I know I want a manual. Um, if there were four five sixes over here, I would probably get that one because they're like quite reasonable. I'm a value guy. I need to see value. <laughs> I don't like six? to lose. Hey, hey, Warren Buffett said the first rule of money, don't lose money. So I don't <laughs> like to lose money. I know I'm not going to lose money on my 997, most likely, because I bought them at the, at the very bottom of, of its um, depreciation. And then maybe in five, 10 years, it'll go up or even less because of inflation. But, um, oh, Bobby, 997. Oh, yeah, four five six. I thought maybe four Ferrari four thirty. I'm not a huge Ferrari fan, but I I just need to own one in my one in my life. I think. So hey, when I get for, you can go for a budget Ferrari or Quattroporte. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that because you can get one for like 60, 70 grand. So I'm but thinking it's, and it's for, Yeah, but then you get you get that incredible engine and the the sound. So and you get four doors, you get to fit your family in it. Four doors, you fit your family. So I might get that because it's, you know, it, it, it's like a hundred k punt. It's a hundred k gamble. You know, you, the most you can lose is like maybe sixty. Hey, would you would you, you get a now. Lotus? Because Lotus is up up on the run right now. The the price is going up. No, I wouldn't because it's a, it's like a go kart. I mean, I've driven one, and I, I at one point I was going to buy one, and then I decided I I, I went I bought my WRX instead. Uh -huh. Yeah. So now I, I, it's just too raw. It's too raw. It's just too. It's. I'm not. I'm Crazy. not gonna go to the track that much. If I was a track guy, then yes. But hey, some guys take up the gun thing as well. They 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 travel over. They, they travel down to Penang yeah. with their their. Well, I think I think whoever yeah. does that, they're made. They're crazy. They're all crazy. Nah, yeah. It, you, you're just yeah. sitting so low, and you just you just feel so small. I like, so much respect I, for these people. So much respect. Yeah. For them. They're crazy. I, yeah. I can't do it. Yeah, no, I think yeah. so too. I, I would not feel uh, safe. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got yeah. uh, so so a Ferrari four five six for you, a manual. Yeah, if I if if I could find one, and if it was like similar price of as as they are in the UK, I would I would pounce on it. Like I would cash out stock to get that. Wow. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'll cash out my investments for 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 air cooled Porsche, but uh, definitely something really, really something I I I, would, I would really want to have in my garage. Yeah. yeah. All right. All so right. I hope that answers your question, Derek. Okay, it's been two hours. It's getting late. Let's get everyone oh, to bed. Midnight. Yeah. yeah thanks, guys, midnight, everyone. Man. Hey, thanks for watching, uh, everyone. And uh, before we go, um, I know it's something I want to bring up. Uh, we have a Evo, talking about Evo Club. Recently, one of our Evo Club guys uh, passed away. His name is JT. Um, you met him. We, he was driving a Peugeot wow. 308 GTI. Talking about manual yeah. hatchbacks, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that guy's a good driver. Good driver. Good driver. Solid. Couldn't, solid. Could not shake him. Could not yeah. shake him. Hey, we were, we were trying to keep up with Zen Lao, you know? <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. Yeah, he was on, he, he was on our he was on our tail. The least yeah, underpowered car. So sad. Yeah. And he was we weren't driving dangerous. He was just Keeping up with good speed, right? He he yeah. knew how to drive his car well, and uh, he's only thirty six, I believe, and he passed away. Thirty eight, yeah. I heard. Yeah, oh, thirty eight, thirty eight. Yeah, yeah. Too wow. too early to leave, man. But such a nice too guy. 
a couple of couple of couple of uh, drives yeah. with him, couple of chats with him, and uh, he was one of my earliest viewers who actually uh, became my friend. You know, on, on my YouTube reviews, he became my friend. I invited him for a drive, and he became my friend. So, you know, it's just uh, kind of shocking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I uh, just just want to the rest just, in peace. You know, yeah, yeah. Send prayers for his family, and uh, just it's just sad, lah. It's just really sad. You know, just want to. To hopefully, if, we, if this word spreads to him, you know, hope that he's in a better place uh, right now, uh, JT. Yep. So, yeah, with that, thank you so much for watching, everybody. Josiah, thank you so much. I'll see you soon. And uh, everybody, please stay safe. Uh, you know, COVID is not over yet. Let's stay home. Let's practice uh, social distancing. Yeah. As long as you're driving in the district, it's fine. You know, just uh, let's try to reduce ourselves from uh, being exposed to this moment. But for that, I wish everyone is safe. And uh, as always, keep it 100%. And, uh, you know, peace out. Anything else you want to say, Josiah? No, thanks, everyone, for taking time to hang out with us, watching yeah. this. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Josiah Cyclist, J-O-S-I-A-H, Cyclist. Yep, in front of uh, that. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah, and, and, if, you, and uh, if you want to book Josiah or get your, your company or your team, uh, uh, Josiah, to, to talk about goal setting and motivation, you can uh, head up yeah. to... Uh, uh, Airbnb slash uh, dot com dot slash com Josiah. Slash Josiah. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. All right. Anything else you want to say, good Josiah? Night. Nothing. All right. That's all. Good night. Yep. All, right. all good. Good all night. Right. Good night. Thanks, See Josiah. Ya. Thank you. Good night.